get this going. Hey everybody, so welcome back to the uh, RPGX podcast. We were doing this as the X8 Terrible Gamer podcast, but we're kind of rebranding because uh, the studio is getting back on its feet, but we still wanted to do like live streams of board games and stuff, so we're going to get back into it. Um, I got Mike over here to my left. Uh, you might not be able to see him real good off, off camera. And then over here on my right, which is probably y'all's left, I, we got Eli with us for the first time. Say hi. Hi. So um, tonight we're going to be playing uh, Descent. This is a new board game that uh, Mike actually got me for my birthday, uh, which is super cool. Thanks, Mike. Uh, it's probably my new favorite board game. We actually already played through the first scenario. Um, for me and Mike to learn how to play it, we're going to be teaching Eli and subsequently you guys uh, how to play as well. Um, it's a pretty badass game. Um, it's kind of like a D and D slash Diablo, and um, you'll see the. Uh, so on the big camera here, we have a top down where you guys will be able to see the map of everything we're doing, which I want to put this out here and show you how it's all packed together because it's pretty good. Um, the top left camera, I'm going to tilt that down here in a minute, um, and, and that will give kind of like a, a, a player's eye view of the uh, playing area. And then that secondary screen up there, that is actually the computer element that you have to use to play the game because it's got the, the way the scenarios are put in there. Um, you have to play through them on a difficulty and you gotta input all the info in there and so you guys will be able to see uh, what we see on our big screen because I've got it on my TV as you can see I got this keyboard here um, so we can interact with the game so let me get this down to like a sort of player's eye view here <coughs> uh, and so you guys will have two different uh, views of the playing area and my big fat gut at the same time too and that'll be cool and uh, I think while I'm on this screen yeah it's just catching my voice but there's uh, when I click over here yeah you can uh, you can hear the background music a little bit maybe I don't know I don't want it to drown it out and I don't want it to demonetize the video Okay. Oh, and this thing here, this is a, I got a dice, dice tower, tower at Walmart for 20 bucks that like folds and puts together. So we'll use that tonight to help with rolling. So the box is really cool. It's like such a big game. It's like two boxes in one. So back in my day, we just rolled the dice on the board. And if it knocked your piece off, it knocked your piece off. Yeah, that's true. Um, so the top part of the box, I have very meticulously stored all the tiles and I went back after you went to sleep that night and made sure everything was where it goes. So these are all the play tiles. By the way, this is a multi-level game. Like it's got different decks and elevations and stuff. Um, um, I read this book when I was a kid about a board game like this that sucked you in. Not Jumanji, it was different. This will suck you in. Uh, so the, the game comes with a lore guide and a decently thick rules book that is kind of a, a, a trudge and then the next thing in here these are all the bad guys and characters that we will end up playing and fighting and putting together it's just uh, here's the board game here's the 120 page instruction okay so uh you get a life counter you get a life counter i get a life counter uh I have all the tokens and dice that we need over here. Here are the cards. And by the way, this is a up to four player game. It's a one to four player game. You can play this at home on your own. Um, here are the underlay cards and the character tokens. And then in the second box in the bottom, these we will want to uh, keep handy dandy. Um, in here, we have already pre put these together, but they're basic. It's like a dollhouse. So we there's like all these props and stairs and trees and a well 
and treasure chests and all kinds of things that we'll be digging out to uh, us. bookcases. And bookcases, and there's an entire dragon in there too, so uh, I will put that there and we'll be able to do pieces. All right, so unfortunately, you being the new person, you get the leftover character. You will get a choice of two because Mike wants to play as the pa Lady Paladin. And I want to play as Varric. Uh, you are the Lady Paladin. Um, and these two are not in the opening scenario. So you can pick between these two. You can either be Cyrus or Galadin. He played Galadin last time, which is like a uh, like a ranger. Does like bow and arrow sneaky stuff. This feels like the uh, purple Power Ranger incident from when I was a kid. What is the purple Power Ranger incident? We already have all the colors of Power Rangers, new kid. You <laughs> must pick a new color. <laughs> That's a, that was the purple Power Ranger incident. <laughs> we have invented a Power Ranger just for you. It was it was it was sad. It was, it was my childhood was sad. Uh, so whichever character you pick, you can start on either side, and then I will give you more directions from there once once you hit picked. It looks like one of them is a mage and one of them is a ranger. Unless you would like to play my character, I, I will give it up. Okay. You're going to play the uh, Phoebe... Uh, bow and arrow guy. Sure. Oh, by the way, there's like lines that you have to read uh, in your character's voice when they play. This because is my character's voice. There's a whole. That's fine. If that that's what you want to go with, I mean, it's boring and predictable. He sounds absolutely done with your bullshit in particular. Um, okay, so if you're playing uh, Galen, uh, <clears throat> this will be your character. Uh, I am playing. You know what these dudes can use? Barracks. Some paint. <laughs> no. There's your. You don't do that. Your weapon card and your weapon card. Yes. Uh, there's a turn card. Turn card. And we we will be like explaining how to play too. Uh, we're just we're getting it set up and then and then we'll kind of go through it. Yeah, I need to, um, which book were the starting with? Is it, was it the big one? Uh, yeah. It's in, everything's in the Learn to Play book. Oh, did we not already do, uh, I thought, I thought we had put together no, everybody's we, thing. I, we just did ours. I don't think we did everybody's. Oh, no, no, no. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I felt like I did all of them. Did you? Because we knew at some point somebody would come be dumb enough to play this with us. Oh, look at that. There's, uh... Yep, yep, yep. That's yours right there. That's your combo. So make sure it's not the upgraded thing. Switch it to the upgraded side. We have a viewer. We're getting. To, we're we're setting up the game. We want to show it. Um, did you get a? Oh, here I gave you one. That's your uh, turn card. So on the front side, it tells you what you can do on your turn. <coughs> and it tells you how to interpret the uh, dice results. And on the back, it shows you what the different uh, conditions will mean. Which we'll explain that in a minute. Uh, so with this dude, you start with nine health on your counter. So you can pick whatever side you want. Basically, in the lower left is like your your special power. Um, you'll get a chance to like flip it over back and forth, and then you can start your weapon on either side. Like you're always carrying two weapons. Okay. 
Okay. Um, During their turn, expose an enemy and line of sight. Okay, exposing an enemy? I mean, we haven't got into it, but when you expose an enemy, they take 20% more damage from anybody that hits them during that round. Um, during your turn, shift one. Shift one is extra movement, so you'll be able, you'll be able to move uh, an extra space. You'll be constantly flipping back and forth between them, so just whatever you want to start on is fine. We didn't need any of the skill cards, right? Uh, no. And, and I don't I don't know if the opening quest changes either. Like I don't know if it's random. Are these in little sleeves? Yeah, they have to be because you flip them over and then the cards are double sided. So like later on it's a persistent game, so like when you beat the first mission, you go into town and you can oh, like you flip them inside. Okay. Yeah, you you can upgrade weapons and, cool. and get new items and stuff. It's 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 like playing like an MMO where you like loot and you go craft and things like that. Lamer. Lamer, this is way awesomer. That's totally weird. Okay, so you have these different dice, right? So your attack is gonna be a blue die, right? Your defense is gonna be a black die. See how that works? Your movement is four. Uh, your health starting health is nine. And when these are your for your skill checks, you get bonuses. When you do skill checks, you always roll two black die, and then you do that, and then you're going to compare it to whatever difficulty is up there. So that's all you really need to know about that for now until we get into it. Vampire pools. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of like a die pool sort of thing where you're accumulating successes. Remember, mm -hmm. um, this is the max exhaustion. That you can have on here, so. Oh, I've uh, been, the comics I've been working on have had a bunch of these games that you have on the back. I do a, a modern era, era. I saw the uh, zombie dice one. Oh, mine has been uh, Super Nintendo games, Mystic Quest. Oh yeah. Mortal Kombat. Okay, so we can manage these. These are just the uh, the monster level thingies. We still don't know what that goes to yet, because we haven't got to that mission. Um, and these are like... Is death a big deal or not a big deal? Uh, when you die, when you go to zero, you will take what's called a wound card, and your, your health will reset. Um, but you will have like some kind of deformity, crippling thing makes it to where you can hit less or something. Um, it will t the... Like res sickness. Yeah, the... Uh, or does it stay forever? The yeah. screen god, the, the TV god, will tell us what to do. Okay. I'm not really going to sit here and sort all these, but here is a handful of exhaustion tokens because you will need them. Here's a handful of exhaustion tokens for me, because I will need them. And this will be a thing that uh, you manage. And we already decided that the turn order would be you, me, then Eli, then the bad guys, and we'll just, we'll basically go clockwise, that way you get the most opportunities to win. Which in, in the game rules on the first round of combat, as it were, you do get to pick whichever order you want to go in, Yeah. but you follow that turn order forever for the rest of the quest. Oh. And until you die, like, in real life. I'm by me. You die in the game. Yeah. yeah, if you die in the game, you die in real life. Okay. Good to know. Uh, okay, here's, like, items and stuff like that, which... I don't, I don't think we need hardly any of it, but I'll yeah. set it there. And then you got the wounds stuff, right? These are the wounds, these are the consumables, like the bigger potions and stuff. Mm -hmm. These and we the probably trinkets. won't need, these are the trinkets. I mean, unless the unless the story changes or something. I'm, not, I'm sure the story doesn't change, but the configuration of the mission might. Uh, okay, so we're going to start a new campaign. Oh! Okay, so we're doing a new party. We have to vote on a party name. Terrible at naming. 
things. I'm terrible at naming things. Alright. We must embark. Okay. So we played it on standard last time with two people and it wasn't too bad. Uh, I'm cool with standard again. We can go to uh, heroic where enemy health and enemy damage is increased. Uh, and then apparently there's like ultra hard mode where enemy health, enemy damage goes way up and enemy <coughs> defense. We should probably do standard. Probably. Uh, my we can, and we can change difficulty as we're playing, too. My character is Beefy Tank Girl. Okay. Um, let's just do standard. If yeah, it gets too fine. easy, we'll bump up the difficulty. Okay, there is, like, uh, dialogue and stuff. small cavern has made camp along the road through the hanging woods. One of the travelers sits apart from the rest. Four figures stare into the flames of the campfire, each with their own thoughts. The fire cracker crackles, the only sound in the summer night. Uh, we've nearly made it, Indris. Tomorrow we'll be in Frostgate, and then we can send our letter to the Baroness. Uh, this is you. Does the bird ever talk back? Uh, she's a fire spirit. She doesn't talk exactly. It's more of an empathetic connection. Empathic. Why write to Baroness Adeline? Uh, since the uh, accident that bonded me and Indris, well, we have more or less wander and, and look for opportunities to learn more magic. I've got a big pole right in the middle where I'm reading. So I'm hoping that the Baroness Adeline will let me study her Elorians? What is that word? Is that Midi a real word? It's midichlorians. <laughs> midichlorians? Those majestic birds, four of them oh, are famous mind. for. I think they might be magical too. What about the rest of you? What comes next once we reach Frostgate? Oh, this is... It doesn't matter! It has to matter. Silence reigns for a moment. Or I could just guess. How about we play a guessing game? Oh, this is where we introduce our characters. <laughs> All right, Bryn. It's Bryn, right? Let's see. I think the group chooses. What do, what do we think? Either you are a hardened mercenary or you're a runaway princess fleeing an arranged marriage. We'll let Eli pick since we've already seen. Uh, so which one do you want him to guess? Hardened mercenary. Okay. You are a hardened mercenary. You took only the jobs that aligned with your own moral code until you were betrayed. Now you're seeking vengeance, hot on the heels of your former captain. Vengeance isn't the marshal's way. We were trained to seek justice, which is a very different thing. 
but there aren't very many marshals anymore. The Uthic attacked and nearly wiped us out before I'd completed my training. The Uthic are a scourge on us all. I'm sorry, Bryn. If you ever want to talk... Gladen, you're next, I think. What do you think? Are you a writing travelogue? Or are you the hunting the white the heart? Travelogue. Is it like, like a like, wanderer? It's like a vagabond. Who loves travel. That one. Or or it's or it's like the uh, G word that we're not supposed to use. Don't don't even. <laughs> oh okay. The, the you're the writing G word. Yeah. Uh, you're traveling all over the world, writing a travelogue for well-to-do nobles in Donsmore. Or Lilithan. Oh, a travelogue is like a travel guide. Thanks. I was very confused by those obvious context clues. You, you have dialogue. No! <laughs> <laughs> well, what then? Did you lose someone to the Athook too? Is that how you lost your hearing? <laughs> what? Yeah, your character's <laughs> dead. I lost my hearing in early adulthood, as is very common in my bloodline, and I don't care to answer any more questions. Reading everyone's lips by firelight is draining enough without dwelling on my past. I think that was whatever this dude is for shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Peter Ferrix, if you want Pester. to... Oh, Pesters. I, I have a poll in the middle of... <laughs> if you want to learn more of our past, it's their turn next. Leave me out of this! Oh, much too late, Veritrix. I think... Uh, what do you think? You're the only one that hasn't seen this dialogue. You're searching for... Ooh, we're searching for... Enough! My history is easy to guess. I did not tear down my... Tear my own wings to shreds. My, hi my hybrid drags one talon across the tattered mass of the scars along one arm. All that remains of their wings. As for who tore them and why, that information is private. I will not share it with chance met traveling companions who happen to be escorting the same caravan. The dragon lord who attacked Kel, did you have anything to do with... The time when all my kin served the dragon lords is long past. Some still do, but the others have found a different path. A better path. I serve no dragon. Let's focus on the caravan. I saw lights through the trees, not that far away. A guard tower? One of the Baronies' watchtowers guarding the road north, yes. With them so close by, we should have an uneventful night. The caravan settles down for the night, merchants and holstlers spreading out into the surrounding woods for privacy and comfort. Surely with the watchtower close by, they will be safe. Select heroes for this quest. Um, so, we have... Mike, Eli, and me. Oh, that's not the voice I gave him. I find it interesting that it's a one to four player game, but you can't only select one character. You can't. Um, I think, does the computer play one? The confirm button didn't pop up until you clicked. Yeah. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah you, 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 would, you would play two characters as well. Uh, you, you would just control two uh, characters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Because basically the party is one player, yeah. like so. Confirm. Uh, even if we're near a watchtower, should we set a watch? Brent says. Any volunteers? As a group, choose which hero should be on watch. Uh, let's start with you. You want me to be on watch again? Yeah. Just that way it keeps the the flow. Then you just click the blue box. You're Bren, right? Bren. I'll take first watch, says Bren. Just like when I was training to be a marshal of the Citadel, Bren is on watch. I feel like this is very much Brienne of Tarth. Yeah. Uh, at first the night passes uneventful, Bren watching over the others as they sleep, but of course no great tale begins on a quiet night. Bren spots movement in the shadows not far from the caravan in the dark, shapes too sinister to be animals, pass between the trees and linger behind the bushes. Something is not right. Uh, this is the welcome to descent thing. We will skip a lot of these. So, it's going to start with a water underlay and tin B. So, there's the water underlay. And I will pull out. 
about 10B. 10B! And we'll start it all the way on our end as it's shown on the thingamajigger. Uh, yeah. Just... I got a feeling it's gonna do... Because it came this way. Uh, hopefully it's the same. You know what? On there, it shows in the middle where before it shows to the right. No, no, no it was in the middle before. Was it? I'm, I'm going to do this yeah. just to be safe. Because it, it might just kind of change the layouts of the maps so that you're not playing the same game again. Okay, and then it's going to tell us what, how else to build. <laughs> so, this is a site token to reveal more of the map you'll like walk over beside it and once you become adjacent to it we drag your character to it and it tells us more of the map to build. Will that show you enemies too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll reveal. Okay, so Bren, you start here. Uh, objective updated. Investigate the darkness around the lake. What? The darkness. <laughs> I, I attack the darkness. <laughs> okay, so on your turn, so the first turn's kind of weird because they're trying to set the thing up and we're not even in the game yet. But on your turn, you can do three things. One of them has to be move. Uh, this is your move uh, with the little arrows. So you can move four spaces when you choose to use a move action. Um, what is your movement, sir? Three. Three. So, what would you like to... So basically all you can't... There's nothing to attack, there's nothing to do. What would you like to do? I'm gonna move... One, two, three. Got you. And you are now here, so what we do is we drag your token to the site token, and it tells us what happens. Thick clouds roll in, blocking what little light the moon provided. But as your eyes adjust, the path becomes clear to you. A cry for help echoes in the darkness. Discard this sight token. Continue. I need two overlay. Oh, that is not the same map. I think it is. I don't know. But that is 4B and 11B, I believe. And another... We need two more. Four B and eleven B, right? Yeah. Is that eleven B? Yeah, it's eleven B. The little line was over. Okay, so here's eleven B. And then it's three B, six B, five B. 18B, 18B, 8B. So unlike the other tile building games, this isn't random. Like it has you spe pull specific stuff out. 4B. Should be that. We need the, oh, we need the water under the, over there. Uh, looks like the water underlay is like this. Uh, when you're moving through water, it costs an extra movement to get out of water. Okay, so you did the site token, it revealed that. Oh, we get a tree. Oh, that's over here. The little bottoms fall off the trees, and it is annoying. Very annoying. Especially when they fall all the way to the bottom of everything. Everything in the world. Tree! Anyone need anything while I'm up? No. I don't know what Tree. We have a tree. Can y'all see that on the yeah, tree? Say, is it a happy little tree? 
It is a happy little tree. That doesn't look like a happy little tree. So, y'all might not be... Oh, there's a tree there. Yeah, some of this is covered up by the screen. But, as it builds, it'll it'll get better. Um, and then, I believe, most terrain is interactable. Blah, 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 blah. We'll skip that. Um, if you get next to terrain... Yeah, I think this is actually just a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, a zealot. Oh man, it's already spawning a zealot. Well, so remember when me and you did the playthrough, it spawned a zealot on that side before. I went that direction just to change up from how we did last time. Yeah. Um, uh, he's got like the little, the little staff, staff thing. Would that be the zealot? It looks like he's, yeah. Okay. Looks like he's popping squad. Okay, so he gets an orange with a... He goes right next to the set token. God damn. Okay. And a berserker. I think this is we're gonna use this as the berserker even if it's not the berserker. <laughs> and it is the berserker. Because somehow you couldn't see. Oh, it was the darkness. The darkness kept us from seeing this. Oh, the Lord. You are under attack. A hero may perform a fight action against an enemy with range one of sight by dragging a hero. Blah 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 blah. To learn more about the fight. Uh, but now, at the sounds of battle, our compa the companions get to jump in, and we will go back here, and then you get to finish your turn. Okay, so he's already used one of his moves to get this far. Defeat the enemies during each hero fit. Okay, it's just explaining how things work. Okay, so you've got uh, two actions. Oh, right, uh, my first one. Okay. I'm going to move right here. All right. Uh, leaving you with one more action. Um, I'm gonna fight the zealot. I turn around, I pull down my pants. Okay, so there's two ways to do the fight thing. We can do this. We can go to the battle screen. Is that the Patriot? Not the Patriot. It was the other one with angry slur guy. The, the William Wallace one? Okay, so when, so when he picks a bad guy, it's gonna ask him which weapon he's using. Um, I am using the weighted war hammer. Alright, here we go. I will need the black D6. And now I'm on this adventure alone. <laughs> active, active God, active God, man down. Okay, so you've got three stars. Stars are always a success. So we immediately go. They're reinforcing the one, narrative my kindergarten teacher did. Three. Um, and I don't think there's anything else you can do because you didn't roll anything else. Well, my abilities let me add fatigue to do stuff. Oh, without um, having to roll anything? Yeah, okay. if you want me to do one of those to show kind of how the mechanic works. Sure. Okay. Um, so I will use the one for my weighted Warhammer. I can put two fatigue, which are these little tokens, on my weighted Warhammer. So anytime you get or use fatigue, right? If like he's using it on his warhammer, so it has to go on his warhammer. But if something's like get a, fa a fatigue and it's like like it's an effect, you can choose what you put it on. But this is the limit of how much fatigue can go on it. And if you can't, if paying a fatigue would go over that number, then you can't do it. So if this is at two uh, and something costs three, then I can't. I think it said that you can do it, but if you go over, you take a point of damage. Oh, I thought it was just you can't at all. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, um, I remember reading that you couldn't do it at all. But so what that 
lets me do is during my attack I can add one star, which is one success, success to my roll. And after the attack, I may move the enemy one space away from me. Look it up for T real quick. Yeah, just look like it had like so ways one space not enough to like. Fatigue is a result of a hero using the shot. So uh, that's not a thing okay. in this. Um, and I'm re really, I'm only doing it to show how the mechanic works. Mm. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't right now. My character is very much like Defendi. So, like, if. You said tank. Yeah, if y'all are next to me while I do stuff and while you do stuff, I can help. Kind of thing. Oh, okay, so you're. There is a thing. So, if you can't pay the fatigue limit, you can't do it at all. If you're suffering fatigue is a penalty. And you're already at max. Anything that goes over the max deals you damage instead. Okay. All right. Well, so that increases to four. Four successes. Yep. So what not to get confused about is see that little damage thing. It says two. It does two damage for every success you get. So when we're inputting it up here, we're inputting the amount of successes, not the damage. My damage on this, the warhammer is three, but that adds and calculates it all up on its own. Uh, did it inflict a status effect? I wouldn't. I was looking up the no. Move. Okay. Um, after the attack, I can move the enemy one space away from me. Okay. So anyway, here we go. You do a, a eleven damage, and then you. It did not expose any weaknesses. What type of damage are you doing? Um, that was crushing damage. Okay, so he's not vulnerable to crushing damage. Okay, so that's the weaknesses thing. It's like, what's it vulnerable to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think your thing does piercing damage. Uh, so they have weaknesses to their strengths too? Some of them. Um, so you can move him one away? Yeah, I'm gonna move him back one. And I think if it lets you do it on there, I'm adjacent to the sight token. Uh. So it might open that up. Yeah, it's when you become adjacent to it, which is probably going to put more enemies on the map, too. Oh. That's fine. So we discard both of these site tokens. He means something really bad. Uh, let's see. We can go. <coughs> it, it is the same as it was before. Now that the other side's open. It is cool. I'm mostly sad I missed this part. The arts and crafts time? Yep. That was fun because we were trying to uh, do it without uh, using the instructions. I can take all the bookcases apart for you. Okay, yeah, those things are uh, needlessly complicated. But we need another tree. Yeah, I was really excited about Arts and Crafts time. It was great. Um, here's a tree with the base fell off. Let's see what I can find. Yeah. Here's my Arts and Crafts time. Ooh, I'll take them apart and glue them all back together. <laughs> I get to keep the extra super glue. I meant to, uh, I meant to buy glue last time I was at the store so I could kind of give some of these a dab dab. Finding lots of tables and doors, but no tree bases. There's a tree base. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> the tree falls in the woods. Your party hears nothing. Hey, somebody from my friends list. Hey, that's a new bet, or was it a wolf? It's a donkey. That's a new one. What's up, Alan? Or, or maybe we just effed it up really quickly last time, and so it was not as memorable. No, it was a. Uh... I think it's a wolf, and then I think it puts like a uh, that uh, the fairies or whatever the pixies behind it. So there's a wolf uh, pissing on that tree. Just 
did the wolf this time. Interesting. Okay. Because the last time it was a fairy. It was a, I yeah, it was a fae. Yeah, it was a fae and then like a zealot popped up. Okay, so that's actually the end of your turn. So now it's my turn. Um, so I can move and then do actions. Uh, my movement is three. One, two, three. Now I'm going to use another move to move up one because I don't have any reach. Uh, and then I will attack, which I use a blue die to attack. Oh. So I need to do this. I have a bad habit of rolling my attack before moving. Doing that. So I'm using the iron war bill. Your, your spear has reach. But I don't have it equipped. Uh, now I roll this thing. I have one lightning bolt. So I rolled a lightning bolt. I can either use it here or I can use it here. These cost. So here it says if I, if I spend a lightning bolt, I can add one success and discard any condition. On here it says, my weapon, uh, I spend one lightning bolt, during my attack I add two successes and expose the enemy. I'm going to do that one instead. So I'm going to add two successes, and I'm going to change his status to exposed, which makes him vulnerable to attacks. I hit him for 8 damage. It looks like he's got 16 health left, and he was not vulnerable to that. Is he mushy? Is he gonna, are you mushy? Is he going to kill you? I'm, no. a, I'm a healer. Oh, I was asking if on my turn, do I which thing should I shoot him? That's not my question. Hmm. You will have to make that decision. Uh, oh, he's got a thing. After the attack, the enemy shifts one space toward me. Then if it's adjacent to me, I suffer uh, one damage. Or, yeah, that's damage, right? Yeah, for the enemies, it's a Well, he's already, he's, doesn't even have to shift. So, you yeah, take damage. I just take damage, and I don't get to defend against that either. That's nuts. Yeah, I think the wolf wasn't here. I think we did just knock it out super fast. I think I, I think I won, I think I hit it, and then I think you... I think you hit it and then I one shot it before it even got a turn. Oh yeah, because you were ranged, so it couldn't shift enough, and then I hit it with the spear because yeah. it was ranged, and I just knocked it out. So there's another enemy that's gonna spawn around the corner or whatever. Um, okay, so it's your turn. You can do three things, one of which has to be a move. It doesn't have to be your first thing, but you're not really in range. So which bow do you have? Out? Bloodwood bow. The other thing I have is blades. Right, but that's the one you have face up. Yeah. So I think it has a four, it should have like a little range thing that says four. So whatever you aim at has to be within four. So you're going to have to move to get in a range of something. Um, and what's the line of sight rules? <coughs> so there's, oh, there, there's, a, a, there's a line of sight thing, thing on here that'll tell us, but generally you can shoot through friendlies okay. and enemies and stuff, but. <coughs> actual terrain. My first bit. question was, can I shoot through y'all? Yeah, yeah, you can shoot through us. Um, also, you can move diagonally and it only counts as one. So you can do one, two, three, four, like that way if you want. Also, you don't have to like. Uh, my movement's four. Yeah, you can move. You can move up to four spaces. Shoot at the poor dog. Okay. Poor dog. I don't like any of this. Just for reference, you know you don't have to be that close to hit him, right? You just want him to be that close? I can hit him from four away, right? That yeah, up to four away. Yeah, yeah. thanks. So, okay. I'm just checking. Okay, so you're going to shoot out? Yes. Yeah, quick continue first. Oh, yeah. It does that thing. Huh. Time for combat. Oh, 
Bloodwood bow. Okay, what do you roll for your Bloodwood bow? It's a blue. That's always your attack, regardless of what weapon you're So you roll a blue die. Would you like to use this? You get a lightning bolt, so anything that has like a lightning bolt cost you can do. That might be your only lightning bolt. I think it is. Yeah. So it says you can add one star, which is a success, and what? Then Then you may suffer one teardrop thing to prepare one card. Okay. So it took a minute for us to figure this out. So preparing a card, so normally to flip flip a card, you have to use an action to do it. If you use the if you use the prepare action, it puts this token on it, and it means you can flip it at any time for free without using an action. I suffer one of those little things. Hmm? How many of those do I have? Uh, you can put up to three on here. So if you use that. Uh, you'll get a success no matter what and then you can put this on here right and then you'll get this you can put it on any card you want in theory you could put it on here now remember what I was telling you at the beginning of the game yeah that's flipping the, the I got the flipping the card thing I am very confused by the teardrop right beginning flipping the card thing that's easy this thing's confusing right so you can only accumulate up to three before you start taking damage for taking teardrops. When you flip the card, anything that's on the card goes away. And Why are we putting those over here as opposed to leaving them right there? Because you are paying the cost to do that. It, it exhausts you to use that ability. So I only have six kids. This, this is a pool. This is, this is just... This is just a stack that we This is just there. a stack you can use. You can have up to three teardrops on him. You can have up to two. That is just so you don't okay, have to jump over pool. here. Okay, <laughs> but so I can just there's three here and there's two here. I can just go ahead and just do that. No. Then how do I get them from here to here? Like I, listen, you put one on. Like when it says suffer a teardrop, that's when you put one on. Okay, so we're but they're infinite. Okay. Yes, they're infinite. Up to the amount that's on your card. But then I can knock them back off and they're infinite. Like, there's yeah. no... Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You flip it to knock them off, and then you just you keep going. I wasn't understanding where they were coming from. The, the screen master, the screen master. Robot overlords. Look, you got a lightning bolt. No, you, that's not what I mean by where they're coming from. Like, you can, do I run out of things I can put on the card, was the question. No. Okay. No. Okay, so you got a lightning bolt. You can... Add a success. Let's add a success. Do you want to pay? I think I don't. You then may suffer. Okay. Do you want to put one of these on here to I? prepare one of your cards? If they're infinite, like why would I not do that? Like so, say because it's taxing you. You only yeah, have two left on here now. But like I don't have much else to do with those. So. Right. Yeah. Right now. So why not? Just... Oh, yeah. yeah okay. You're right. Because then I can just flip the card and erase it. Right. Okay. So you're going to put that on that yeah. one. And it's prep. Now it doesn't cost you an action to flip that. I got so... that one. Okay. I, I was asking wrong person. Also, he's still exposed from when I hit him, so you're going to do extra damage. I think you did extra damage. Yeah. It took one of his defense away. He had a defense on the shield. Up there. Well, he normally only does two damage. It did three damage. So, yeah. so that worked. Okay, so you used one move and one attack. You have another action now. You attack again? Yeah, you yeah. can attack again. Oh, wait, hold on. After the attack, the enemy shifts one space toward you. Then, if it's adjacent to you, suffer one. Right, so he's going to move diagonal one. Uh, you're going to take one damage on your little counter thing. This is why you don't stack all the... You do do the attacks separate. Remember how we were doing... I was doing like two in a row. That's why, because it can get like a little defense hit. And, 
Um, so now you're still using your Bloodwood Bow. And you're going to roll your die again? Yeah. But I want the tower thing. Huh? I want the tower thing. The tower thing? Oh. I was confused. I don't know what was happening. I was trying to see if it would suck less. A lightning bolt star. Okay, so... <laughs> Whatever those hieroglyphics mean. Look, star. a star is always... Put this counter up success. one. Now you and have a lightning, lightning bolt. bolt. Is that one thing? Is so that one star? Is. One star. Now you can take a, a fatigue on that, and you can prep it too, and now you can flip either one of those for free. Uh, same color? Now you're set up to just be like flippity flip 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 and get rid of your stuff whenever. No, that's better. You're, it's better. It's, 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 what? You I'm doing really bad at asking questions. I'm terrible. That's why I'm just telling you the answer before you get out. So, you did five damage. Except you're telling me the answer. I hate you. You're like, answer to this I thing. hate this I like, group. <laughs> I'm never <laughs> streaming again. Hey, four people were watching. Oh, my, Allie is watching. Mike's Hi, just Allie. sitting over there, like being chill, and Brad's like, "My both of you guys." That's my existence. Oh, it shifts towards you. You suffer one damage, so take another damage on your little wheel. I hope you die. It's, You're dead weight in this party right now. It's not helpful for you. I just did a whole bunch of damage. Okay, that is all the heroes. So now we end the phase, and it goes to. The darkness phase. They're gonna come at me. Uh, so resolve infection and tear. We don't have any infection tear. You may also discard. You can you can get rid of one of your uh, exhaustion, and you can pick which one. So you can pick one of those to get rid of. You get rid of one of your teardrops. Why would I want to do that? Because it frees you up to get more to use those abilities. You don't want to have them. It's a cost you pay. You have a limited amount. But you just said I don't have limited amount. <laughs> just take, pick one and take it off the card, damn it. <laughs> if you keep trolling me, I'm <laughs> gonna beat you tonight. You're unsure if I'm trolling you or don't understand. And we're just gonna keep it that way. There is a maximum amount that you can have on this card. If you exceed that maximum, you start taking damage. The least amount of this thing on here that you have, the better. Because also, if you can't pay the cost of something, then you can't use the ability. So you want to take, you want to use it, and you want to take off as much as possible. Okay. I'm not explaining it again. I hope that made sense to everybody out there in <laughs> internet land. Hey, can you explain to me how fatigue works? <laughs> I will kill you. I will kill all of you. Okay. On camera? Now the bad guys go. A uh, Brad go. The zealot targets uh, Galadin, which is you. Why is it not coming after me? I don't I, know. I heard it's, it. It's a skirt. No, I think that's it, the one I hit. Oh. <laughs> I think it goes after like the weakest or something, or maybe the dumbest player. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, the wolf, first off, recovers two health. Um, he can move three. He has a range of three. And his attack does four. Um, he, can, but he, he can get in range. Yeah, yeah. So he will always move to his maximum range. Because uh, these things are intelligent. So he would go mm. here to hit No, three. for me. No, for oh, for you. That's right. Over here. He can also get into the water. So. Well, if he goes right there, that's his max range. One, two, three. Got it. Okay. He would intend, yeah, okay, but he's gonna do that to do his max range. Um, I'm about to die. Um, and he attacks for four. So now, what you do is you get to roll your defense die. Square, yeah, roll square. Is this is square, looks like you. I don't play anymore. You ruin That's everything. Square. Two. Two successes, so you uh, reduce the amount of damage by two. So you're going to take two, two damage. You take two damage. You're saying because of y'all shit, somebody left the chat. <laughs> it wasn't four. Now it's a three. 
Uh, Bryn is now being attacked by... Allie laughed. Allie laughed because she turned on and was like, it's a board game, I'm out. Uh, the Berserker's going to move four. He has to... Yep. So he has no choice but to do this. Uh, and he's going to attack you for six. Jesus. The Berserker shifts one towards and attacks a second hero if possible. I'm going to let me roll my defense. Two. So you're going to take four. I will take two fatigue. To add a success to my defense. Gotcha. Uh, so, so you take, take three. three. Uh, and he cannot shift one to attack another player, so he just doesn't. So this ability, by the way... During my or an adjacent hero's defense. So if one of y'all is standing next to me and defending, I can also add a success to y'all. Okay. Uh, but I take two of these fatigue things, whatever that does. Uh, looks like the wolf attacks me. He can move up to three. He's going to attack for three. Before the defense, if the target is wounded, each other hero suffers two fatigue. Um, we are not wounded. Uh, I am. I've ta I've taken one damage. Wounded. Oh, wounded, wounded. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say I'm damaged. You went wounded. Just wound like... cards. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm not wounded. He attacks for three. I defend with a D8. Uh, I have a lightning bolt. I can add a star for that. Or oh no, that's during my attack. So I get two successes. I take one damage. Uh, the Berserker howls, wide eyes gazing at Bryn with unfathomable rage. Oh, it kind of gives you clues on like who they're going to attack next or if they're going to cast a spell. It like tells you kind of what's going on, so you can plan your next attack. <laughs> All right, so we are back in the hero phase. So you have three actions. All right. First thing I'm going to do is ready. To flip to my sword. Okay, so you used your ready action to flip, and now you got your sword out. I'm going to attack the zealot. He has seven health left. I'm attacking the warden's blade. Two. Um, Is there anything extra you can do? Uh, it's just going to do two. Oh, you've revealed a weakness too. So he actually does some extra damage. So the zealots are weak to slashing damage. Does it keep track of my health? You keep track of You're keeping health. track of your health. I don't think so because we've You've told taken we've told you two every time. Plus the attack. You took one, two. Yeah, you should be four down. Okay, that's right. But like it was probably wrong. Yeah, you've taken a lot of damage. No, I felt like I had too much. Okay. Uh, so we hit Continue. I only started with nine, man. Uh, that killed the zealot. Yes. Yeah. So, the zealot is gone. I'll keep it over here because I think we'll need it. Um, I have to move for my third one because I haven't done a move. Uh, so since you are engaged, you can only move one. Yeah, I'm just going to stay right now. Okay. Is that... So, you know, like... The first action has to be a move. No, uh, it can be any of your uh, actions. It's just one. It's just, it's just one of the three can... So you, but you can be. be like, pass. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't even have to use any of your... If you just, just want to sit there, you could. Oh, I don't know why you would. I, I did not know that was an option. Yeah. Yeah. You, I hate you. I kind of want the house rule it so I can do another ready action instead of... Oh, 
just gonna say, just because you got the board game for your birthday doesn't mean you rule the board game. <laughs> uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it's not eternally your birthday. Uh, I guess I'm gonna uh, hit this wolf with my first action. <laughs> He'll just be old. I say he's just mad because he's old. Uh, I got a lightning bolt and a plus sign. Oh, you haven't rolled a plus sign yet. So when it's a plus sign, that means you can take an exhaustion wherever you choose for success. That's what that always means. You wanted us to teach you. You had other things to do tonight, you're just, and you're like, can I please come play? You just you suck at explaining that. I think I just explained it. When you get a plus sign... No, anything involving exhaustion, I just... I feel like you, of all people, should have a firm grasp on this. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? <laughs> I said you, of all people. <laughs> what do you mean, you all people? Okay. You all, everybody, oh my god, we've been watching oh my, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, whoa, no. wrong character. I grabbed the wrong character. I'm not that character. This character. And I've got the Iron Thorn War Bell. And I rolled a Lightning Bolt and a plus sign. So with the Lightning Bolt, during my attack, I can add two and expose the enemy. You took the wrong one off the board. Uh, it happens. Does it? Well, I kind of, I'm kind of hoping you, Eli kind of range to hit him so he doesn't just completely murder me. Sorry. Okay, so I got two and I can expose the enemy. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spend an exhaustion. Take an exhaustion to add a third success. And the wolf is dead. You said I could move through what water's double. So you can move into water and it's normal getting oh, out of it is. out of it, it's two spaces. Because okay. you're climbing up out of the water. Okay, so I've killed the wolf. Uh, and now I'm going to use my move to come up to this tree. And then I'm going to use my action to explore the tree. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to explore my tree too. <laughs> the tree has round green fruit on the lower branches, plants, and mushrooms growing up its side in a sturdy trunk. I could claw him. What do I want to do? I want to... pick the fruit. Oh! Okay. Uh, I get to heal too. I need to do that at some point also. With my five health. Better keep your hands off my tree. <laughs> oh, does each tree only do one? No, you can you can do all you can do all the options, but sometimes on like some things, like it'll like if there's three of them, you can do two of them, and then the third one you can't do. You you don't know what will happen. We've just played it before. It doesn't always heal you. No, 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 each one can do something different. Okay. Yeah. So I can go up to the tree and do it again. Doesn't mean you can't do it. Oh no no! If I use one of the options, it's closed for oh. the other players. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's See, I'm not just asking questions, because that's the question I thought I asked. What did y'all hear? Does <laughs> does it do something different for every thing? I don't know. So uh, what he was saying is like there's a there's a well with four options and I was trying to go through all the options, but when I did two of them, it stopped letting me do anything with the well. Even though there had been four options. Anyway. I'll leave the tree alone so you can come up to the tree and pick one of the other options and get a chance to interact with it. Like, I won't use them on I won't use the fruit. The other two options were climb the tree, and the other one was, like, forage the plants around it. Um, so that was all of my turn. So now it's your turn, and you are right here. One, two, three. 
two, three, four. You actually don't even have to use a move to uh, hit him with your bow. If that's what you want to do. Is that what you want to do? Yeah, hold on. How much health does that left? The Berserker, full 18. That does one more damage, man. I'm not sure if I want to put myself in range for one more damage. I mean, I'll, I'll stand here and fight you. Uh, you just want to take five shots at it. I, I, if I had more health, but you know, the light ability. Uh, so you're going to shoot him with your bow? Yeah. Everything is already ready, so. Bad town. Ooh! You exposed his weakness, uh, so you actually got uh, extra damage off of that. Uh, you get two more action. Um, shoot it, uh, and then I got him, though, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you want to move. Uh, Harry Potter star, lightning bolt star. <laughs> okay, okay. So the star is one success, and then the lightning bolt is that thing again, which is Add a success. another success. So you got two, and he's vulnerable to your bow. So you actually didn't do too bad. Now you hit, you can move if you want to move. You could get up next to the tree, but you'd have to wait till your next turn yeah, to explore it. So I can go ahead and move in front of you, though, and it ain't gonna no. affect? No. Okay. Yeah, we can move through each other. Um, I forget which things have on the side. That's why the first time I get into a video game, the first thing I do is shoot the person I'm playing with just to see if you can do friendly damage, right? Isn't that yeah. um, normal? <laughs> so... Oh, that's not how you check that? <laughs> now we're in the darkness phase. Everybody can get rid of one exhaustion. I only have the... What happens if you don't have any? Nothing. Then you're not exhausted anymore. It's fatigued, sir. Okay. Fatigue. I believe they're synonyms. I'm just... I'm thinking about it because I'm exhausted from this conversation. I said, synon so I said synonym at work and someone from the back went... And I went seven synonym rolls. So Bryn just got attacked for seven. Oh, sweet. Are you are you dead? No. Four defense. So you'll take three. So it's two exhaustion for five defense. Well, we have five viewers. I don't know who all's viewing, but uh, thanks for tuning in. It's two exhaustion for an extra success. No, for he's got a special ability ah, that's yeah. giving him an extra. I'm doing one on me and one on my weapon to give me five. Now, see this thing here. Actually, I'm not. Confused. During your turn, you can just choose to take three exhaustion before you attack. To yeah, expose him. That's the thing that makes it. Uh, you hit more. Yeah, you get twenty percent more, but you have to have you you have to have three available. So if you already have an exhaustion on there, you won't be able to do it. What? Mike was laughing. I'm sorry. So this is why the exhaustion limit matters. So like that, yeah, it okay. costs three. So this has to be empty for us yeah. for you to be able to do it. That was better. That was good job. Oh, you, I was, I did was, you actually flip or no, did you check the other side? You're just reading. reading. Okay. So we've resolved that attack on Mike. Your foes hunt a weakness they cannot find. No enemy tactics. Oh, so there's no extra stuff that happens. What did the shift one thing mean? You can move a space. Yeah, if it says shift one, it means you can move one extra space. If it said like shift three, you can move three extra spaces. Yeah, I was just comparing their exhaustion things. Now that I understand the mechanic, mm -hmm. after 18 explanations. <laughs> uh, Mike, you're up. I'm gonna. Oh, Steven's watching. Hey, Steven. I'm gonna ready. I was told it was mandatory. 
<laughs> I think you would like this game, Stephen. I would have invited I you. I did invite him. But I don't like you. He said, and I quote, I don't want to have to drive home. Mm. I was like, hey, Stephen, you want to come play? And he was like, Pride and Mike both suck. Absolutely not. It's pretty awful. Okay, so I readied and flipped. Mm hmm. I have a, an ability on here that lets me use one of my actions to shift three and then attack an enemy and then flip my card back after I'm done. So. Dang, that's a lot of stuff. Let me see real quick. I, I mean, I believe you. I'm just, I'm wondering. Well, the thing is, I still have to Oh, you have to. Oh, I forget what that thing means. I think it's using one of your actions. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, I gotta, I gotta look that symbol up because I forgot. It's the only thing I can think of it would be because it's not on the card. It's, it's a something. Oh my gosh, I remember seeing that somewhere. That. Oh, it's a so it's a unique action. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay. So it's an act. It's an action. It's just an action. Yeah. Um. Which I mean, it really doesn't matter because I have to take a move anyway. Mm-hmm. Um. So I'm just gonna. Attack. Attack. Okay, so we're going to take Bren, and we're going to drag you over here to the bad guy. It's going to play. What are you using? Uh, the sword. The warden's blade. Battle music. Cue battle music. That'll be two successes. You can't fight music. It's art. Oh. Five damage. He's got five health left. Um, so you've used two actions? Yeah, because I flipped. You want to attack right, again? Flipped. I have to use a move, don't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. You use a flip and then you did it. So the only thing you have left is a move. Um, and I'm you're gonna, engaged, so you can only move one. I'm going to move one closer to, to the, the tree. Because I'm going to need that tree. <laughs> I'm going to need that tree. I'm at four. Okay, I'm next. I'm going to yes. leave the tree for Eli. I'm going to go one, two, three, uh, two, three. Yeah, I can move three. I'm going to use a, an action to flip over to my spear, which has reach, which means I can hit one more. And then I'm going to hit it with my spear. He has the Spear of Destiny. I think that does piercing damage too. So. Oh, hey, yeah, yeah. Good point. Um, so I roll my attack die. <coughs> Lightning bolt! <laughs> um, I can add a star, I can add a success, and I can remove... Anybody got any conditions on them? Nope. No conditions? I can remove Eli's preparedness. That would be funny. <laughs> so close. So yeah, I did a flip, a move, and that. So I'm done. So you've got three actions, one of which would have to be a move. You want to attack him since you're at range? Oh, wait. Is it, yeah, you still got your bow out. You're good. This. Star lightning. Okay, so we're going to take you. That's a star. Uh, but I don't think you need to take the lightning on that one because he's at one. Well, yeah, but the lightning just gives him a free success anyway. Then you may. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot you may. <coughs> so, I think Eli got his first kill. Do I have to eat its heart? Drink his blood? Yes. Okay. Uh, Am I a man now? Yeah. Ooh. That. So, what that does is. Here, you can place things. 
Thanks, Dad. There's a door. And we need a... You're welcome, son. <laughs> no, but oh, look how it is. You. <laughs> look what it says. Do it like it shows. It's important. It's anarchy. What's happening? I'm going to take away your privileges. I'm having flashbacks to work again. What are you... It's man, nasty. you were having... Just... So much autism. <laughs> what is happening right now? Stop, no. Get away. <laughs> there. The, the water's wrong. He got all there and he was like... <laughs> Makes sense to me. Hold on, everybody! Fixed it. <laughs> okay. Uh, objective has been updated. Enter the watchtower. Do, do you need like just the well heel too? Do you need that too? I don't know. Okay. Uh, the one thing I didn't get to check is the one thing that might have healed me. Uh, okay, so you still have two actions left because you used an attack. You have to move. One is to do the tree thing. Okay, so you want to explore the tree. I want to get all up in that tree. <coughs> uh, see, I already picked the fruit, so you can't do it. So you can either forge the plants, forge the plants. or you can climb the tree. That's a good choice. Uh, you end up with five Kiros, one Fortunos, and some moldy baubles, four herbs from some of the shadow side moss. So it tracks your inventory in the game. See this shit heal me game? Uh, no, that will be stuff that you need to craft items in town later. Um, I want to move towards that fucking well then. It got to do something. Or should I stay by the tree and do that third? All you have left is. I'm going to tell you, all it does is you get up there and it makes it to where you can get one of those preparedness tokens oh, okay. on your thing. Thanks. Appreciate that. It's a little bit I of a metagame. Plenty of those. Uh, okay, so you're prepared for your next preparedness thing. Preparedness tokens. Um, that would be the end phase. Yeah, so there's no enemies, so basically what's going to happen is we all get to lose uh, an exhaustion if we have one. Nope. Uh, okay. Then we will continue. And then it's back to the hero phase. So we probably want to continue exploring uh, before we just pop that door open. Um, so you're going to climb the tree? Uh, I'm not going to climb it. I'm going to pick the fruit off the tree. Uh, heal two. And then, as a dick move, I can move three. One, two, three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explore the well. I'm gonna drink. Hope it kills you. Why? Uh, you may discard. <laughs> well, shit. Two. Ha. Ha. Does it do different things every time? I have no idea this first time I've done it. We drank from it last time. The thing we didn't do was toss a coin in there. No, it wouldn't let me drink from it when I went back uh, to it. Interesting. We did toss the coin because I went to the... Well, this time the other two were crayed out. The only thing you could do was drink. It's because, so, once <coughs> it was issue a challenge, which I don't remember that being on there. Huh. Yeah, so I guess it changes a little bit. <laughs> um, okay, my turn. So, I'm going to move... You want to check the well too? No, I'm gonna go right here to get adjacent to both of you. Those uh, heels. I think Eli took, or you took a bunch of damage. Anyway. <coughs> I have five left. I'm at six out of ten. Six of ten. Five of nine. So we're exactly we're the same. same. Okay, so I'll take two uh, to heal you for two. 
Uh, so I moved. Um, I took. Uh, oh, that doesn't count as a uh, special action. That's just something I can do during my turn. Yeah, because it doesn't have that little thing by it. Does it say you only do it once? Well, you have to well, only have, Yeah, I only have three. But uh, what I can do. I can use an action to flip to get rid of it, and then I can use an action to flip again. And now you're just ready for your next turn. But it doesn't cost me an action to heal, so oh, I'll heal you for two. If he needs well. more, because he no, 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 I'm arranged. I'm eight out of ten. Okay. So I'm seven. Dude, the fatigue limit on this sucks. Oh, one? Yeah. I forgot I ate the apple, so I already healed myself. I was like, oh, I need to heal, but I'm in full health. Um, so that's my whole turn. Now what do you want to do? Uh, Check the well. So, yeah, it says search my reflection. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Oh, so it's character specific. <laughs> Which one did, what did search your reflection? I don't remember. Well, you don't remember. I, drink obviously gets rid of fatigue. I don't know. Search at your reflection. That's my only other option. I mean, peering down in your own eyes, you contend with what you see and what you do not. Test your insight. So you're going to roll two. So anytime you test one of your skills, you roll two black dice and then you add or subtract the thing. One, two. Sorry, three stars and one lightning. Okay, so you got one, two, three stars. Your lightning adds yeah, one, one success, right? Yeah. Uh, what is your insight? Minus one. Minus one. So we're going to bring that back a little bit. I'm going to see what that hat does. You are held captive by terrible <laughs> memories and only set free by a jarring vision. Flame pours from your reflected eyes. And the heat taints the, the waters water. with ash. Jesus, that's awful. That's awful. Why do I get to prepare two cards? I don't know. I don't live through that, but I'm going to go. But, but yeah, you're already prepared. But now I know. You want to prepare my two cards? Um, <laughs> can I? Yeah, that was that was just one action, right? Yeah. So you can move. I'm this dude, right? Yeah, yeah. you can move up to four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yep. And then you got one action left, so you want to try to open the chest? Yeah. I thought I wanted to slightly turn that one. Uh, spoiler, it's a mimic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, an ingenious mechanical puzzle secures the lid of the chest. A shrewd mind could determine the right combination to open it. Test insight. Three, four stars, and one lightning. So that's five, and then your insight's minus four. one, so you got four. You were closer to opening the chest, but there's still some effort required. Oh, okay. So, like, maybe someone else does it next or something? Like, okay, that's cool. He's the insighty boy. Uh... Oh, you were the last for this turn. Well, I, I, yeah, see, oh, I got, I got to move. Oh, no, I already moved. Never yeah, yeah, you move. Um, so does anybody have exhaustion? Yes. So I'm just gonna skip. It. So normally it would go to the end phase. We'd lose an exhaustion, and then it goes back to the thing. So now we'll just go back to your turn. Um, go over the well again. See what options it gives me. You may perform. Okay, so it doesn't cost you an action. So I'm gonna move. Don't forget, you, you did not uh, forage that tree either for That's materials. True. One, two, three. I'm gonna climb that tree. Oh, you're gonna climb it? That's the thing. That's the the thing you didn't yeah, do. Yeah, because I already have. Moved. But I think he's gonna do it to get the. Uh, I think I think he I think he gives you prepared stones. Because <coughs> it gives you like a vantage point. Uh, you, oh yeah, you have to test your might for it. Yeah. You want the tower? Sure. I have a plus two to might. 
three, four, five, six, seven. I think you climb the tree. Yeah, you get to prepare two cards. No, it's done. Huh? Sorry, I'm... What? I was trying to figure out what that was. That was a mouse pad over there. Um, I have one... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, cool. it's a trick thing. Hmm? And one more. I'll move three. One, two, three. Oh, to uh, check out the other Your shirt. staff's too big. It's taking up too much space. I know. My guy's a hoss. Uh, let's He's see. Overcompensating is what he is. Shoot, I can only move three. We have shared loot in this game anyway, you're not, unless it says like, you heal, blah blah blah, <coughs> any loot we find goes into a, a big thing. I'm curious to see if it drops the same recipes. Six, seven, I think I just opened that chest. This is an the following has been added to your inventory to be used later. 16 bone from some elongated claws, 4 kuros and 2 lumos from incense and candles. Uh, talon pommel recipe. So the recipes are different because we didn't get that pommel recipe last time. Hmm. Uh, the chest goes away, but we'll leave it there for posterity. Um, so <coughs> I moved, I opened that. I can move again, and I'll just go up to the front door. But I do not have an action to open it. And now it's Eli's turn. Uh, I'm, I'm coming. You're fine. Oh, you know what? I don't want to move. I'm going to stay right there, and I'm going to use my last action to flip my card to get rid of my exhaustion. Okay. Eli can open that door. <laughs> How dare you? So, um, no option to reveal more of the map? Just gotta go through the door? Mm hmm. That's okay. all there is. To the door, I say. Shit gets dicey. <coughs> oh, should I not go through this first? Oh, absolutely. Uh, test your agility. It tells you the difficulty. It's five, so. One, two, three, four, five, and then plus one, six. So. Pass. Pass. Sixteen. Okay, so this is where it gets cool. Um, <coughs> so I need stairs. We need sixteen A, and then I need those short little things. Now we're starting to go into elevation. It says like live and it's got the viewer count up there and it's a hundred percent covering up the second camera view that's funny here's a thing I can do can you click continue I'm afraid it's gonna 
I'm just I'm trying yeah, to see yeah. where all these go. Yeah, I got you. Let me do this thing here. Is it only? There's no way it's only three. Yes. It's Where's the fourth one? Is it maybe under that staircase? Hold on, I'll rotate it. I just post fixing a thing. For our viewers. So there's one. Oh, I'm retarded. That's where the stairs are. I've got that one already. I know, use the R word. Live. I was talking about myself, it's okay. Yeah, so it's only four of them. Yeah, I've got three. Uh, okay, so you used a move action, you used <coughs> your uh, regular action to open the door. Now mm -hmm. you have one more action left, which can be move. We might have to play some more stuff. Too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, are there bad guys in here? I don't remember. There was a gate. Um. So. Oh yeah, there's a bandit and a zealot, so you already have the zealot out. Do I get to move more, or if I had uh, a capability left? You have capability left. So, like, you used a move, so you have met your prerequisite for move. You used an action to open the door. You have one action left, which can be anything. So it can be move. It can be yeah. move. Can it be move if I have move Left or can it? Oh, can you move? use the rest of your move? Does it have to use the rest of my move, or can you don't have to? That's what you just said. Uh, I dig, dig, dig does, it, does, it, does it start over? Do I get four new moves, or do I have to use the rest of what I had before? I think you can finish your movement, and then you still have an action, so you can move again. So I get four whole new ones. Is what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Sorry, uh, band, I'm doing that band, thing where band. I'm 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 not speaking English normally. Uh, You guys should be able to uh, see the uh, player view a little bit better now, too. Okay. Um, of course, I, I covered up some of the what's being built, so that's funny. Uh, objective dated. Find the key keys to the gate. Okay, so I think you, have, you used one, two... You have two more squares of movement that you can use, and then an action. So if I finish my movement, mm -hmm. I can start all over again and move four more? Yes. You can okay. move more, you can attack. Seems, you, can... you have two more squares of movement you can use right now. I'm trying to figure out how this is. So I just, I need like one collection. Yeah, so just move one. Yeah. Uh, and you want to shoot the mandate for your last action. You slide your bow out. Smart. 
smoke bomb. After the attack, this enemy shifts two away from the hero. Awesome. Okay. Warrior attack. One lightning. One success. Hmm. Nice. Um, he's gonna shift two. Come on, Alpha. What is the plus one then? The, the difficulty level? They probably have more health. Well, yeah, I'm just damage. saying this seems like well, this seems like a lot more standard. Sometimes I forget how much like a D and D game is supposed to like knock a character down. So yeah. I'm so used to everybody like maxing their character. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not a thing. I know, it's just that I'm so used to it. Um, okay, so that was the end of the what, hero. What do you mean I didn't kill it in one hit? What is happening? Now we go to the darkness phase. Uh, everybody discard. No. Okay. Now we going to... No, I can't. I can't do the fatigue because I don't understand how it works. Why is the bandit coming after me? <laughs> Good. Well, it moves three. It's got a range of two. But if it can't, if it can't do that, then it attacks the next closest hero. So if it, if it can move three and get within range of two to you, that's exactly what it'll do. Yeah, that's what it can do. It's not within range. Uh, yeah, so it just moves the three, uh, and that's all it does. That's good. I don't know why the bandit went after me. I'm not even in there. Uh, Galaden, he's <laughs> gonna move. So I didn't hit him though. Gladen's back there, so he's going to target you, uh, so he's going to move three to get within three. So, yeah, he goes on the stairs, and he's one, two, three, so, yeah, that succeeds. This dude looks kind of cool. Oh, the zealot? Yeah, they're yeah. pretty bad. Um, you're going to defend against three damage. No, so he goes back top stairs beside his buddy. Because he'll only, he'll always try to be at his full range. Because that's the tactically sound thing. Uh, two plusies, two stars. God dang. Okay, so you got you blocked two. The plus signs can become successes if you take a fatigue on whatever you want. I would just take one. I would just take one fatigue to get the third success to block all the damage. Um. Now I'm this. I already know the answer to that. Sorry, go ahead. Right. So you just blocked all the damage. Good job. Bandit crouches low, daggers out, and beckons you forward with a flick of one of their rusted tips. I'm not into you, the hero says. <laughs> Please okay. seek uh, companionship ship elsewhere. <coughs> uh, Bryn, you're up. All right, well, first I'm going to move next to the tree. <laughs> We're in here fighting to the death. He's like, I won't climb a tree. I can't get up there anyways. Y'all abandoned me to fight. If you can do two anyway. whole move turns, then you could totally get up there and still attack. I'm going to forage the plants. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> and then I will move three. So, one, two, three. Okay, my turn. Yep. Well, I can only move three. Well, so I'll go three, and then I'll move two to get to the bottom stair. And I will use my spear, which has reach. Z-Lot. Watch Spear. Lightning Bolt. Star. Oh. I forgot the Spear had a pretty cool power for a Lightning Bolt, too. Yeah, uh, so the Star is one success. 
the uh, lightning bolt during my attack add two successes and enfeeble the enemy. Ooh, what does enfeeble <coughs> No, I never used it last time because I stuck with the thing. Should be on here. And then minus 20% enemy attack damage. Nice. Uh, your turn, Ela. You don't even have to move. You can just attack from where you're at. He's in, oh, wait, no, that's uh, minus 20, his attack damage, so, doesn't give you a bonus. Who are you attacking? The bandit. <coughs> yeah. Bow, bow. Bloodwood bow, bloodwood bow time. <coughs> Star lightning, two successes. Okay, as soon as you in, enter an enemy's threat range, you have to stop moving, so you have That's to stop on that right step, there, okay. yeah. Then. And then you continue your attack against the bandit, yes. the bandito. The star lightning bolt, two successes. Okay, I uh, it, but I did not. Uh, he's going to back up two more. Just straight back? Yep. So that was your turn, so that ends our phase. Quick, continue. Uh, you can discard your exhaustion. Or fatigue. Uh, the zealot comes after me. Uh, he has a range of three. So he'll actually back up to be at full range, because that's how those things work. Uh, and he attacks me for two. I defend with the yellow. Uh, and I block two, and I'm not going to take a fatigue for an extra. Oh. Wow. So, oh, but you're like... Yeah. So he'll move three for six, but he has no range, so he can only go one, two. He just moves forward and doesn't attack. Oh, uh, but he's gunning for your ass. The zealot slams her staff into the ground and drones a dark prayer. So it sounds like he's starting to cast a spell. All right. You want to get in on this? Well, I was going to be able to attack one of them twice, but he moved away. Go. Move. Move. And then I will use my ability to shift up to three. I'm going to shift here. And who should I attack? I think this one's almost dead. This one's only got like two health. What ability did you use to shift? So that that costs an action. Mm -hmm. Move, move. This. Oh. Oh, oh, oh! I thought you were you were at, I thought you were about to attack. No, but it's to... part of my part of this is I get to attack. Oh, oh! oh. You can shift and attack. Okay. Well, I think okay. this one only has like two health left, and I think that one has a lot more. I mean, we can we can go to the battle screen. Yeah. 
the bandit's about to. But the zealot's also weak to my damage. Too. Yeah, I and the zealot's I... also in the middle of casting a spell too. I yeah. can probably end the bandit if you attack the zealot. Yeah, I'll hit the zealot. Everybody watching, shit's getting real, guys. Three. I'm gonna pay two fatigue since I'm adjacent to Eli. It's gonna be four. You're using the blade? Yes. It's gonna be four. Okay, we can take the zealot off. And that is that. This flips when I use that ability. Uh, okay. Cool. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to. That's me, really right? Yeah. I'm going to come up. Three. Uh, I'm going to use an action to flip over to my mace, and then I'm going to attack. Which means Eli will probably get to just explore. Lightning bolt, so I'm going to do to and expose him. Hey, Nate's watching. Hey, Nate, how's it going? Bandit is dead. Ooh, I got two minerals, three herbs, and three gold off of them. We have dispatched all of them. Uh, that was my turn, so it's your turn. There's no enemy, so you can just move and explore. Yeah, he's dead. Yes. Well, you got four move. Can you get over there in four? Okay, so you come over here. Door swings open, re reveals a small cellar. Mm. Stairs, 6A in a bookshelf. What's in the cellar? It's a clown. It's an evil clown. Okay, stairs. 6A. Is that 6A? So, that'll go like that. This goes up underneath here, like that. No, no. And then that just goes there. And then the bookshelf goes up there. Oh, the complicated bookshelf? Yeah. Jeez. That is kind of cool, though. Oh, and there is a area of interest right there. It actually has, like, stuff on it. Show it to the camera over there on the left. See, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's pretty solid, too. How much was the game? Uh, that... Like 200 bucks. Uh -huh. But, I, but if the pieces... You can get it, I think you can get it for 130 online. Well, but the pieces are, like, really solid, too, so... It's not, like, flimsy. I expected, like... Cardboard? Know, yeah, it's, paper. like, super high quality. It's like doll. It's like dollhouse furniture. I don't think it... I think it's worth the price, it looks like. Um, so, this is gone. Uh, you still have one square of movement, and then you have uh, another move and action, I think. No baddies? No. Oh, actually, you have, a. Uh, all you have left is a uh, move. I mean, you can do whatever, but moving is probably... <laughs> you used a move. You used a action, action to, to open do the door. door, so now you have move. Uh, you have one more thing you can use. Three. Four. Yeah, you don't have to go on it to explore. You can be adjacent to it. But... Oops. Doesn't matter. I mean, I can't I explore the bookcase at some point. Yeah, yeah. Oh, on just, your next turn, is, you'll be able to do this. Do is, this is still fine. Uh, the, those tokens automatically reveal once you're by them, I believe. 
I, that one might be one you enter. Oh out. yeah, it's an explore token, yeah. so you have to use the explore action board. So you're out of action. Oh, this okay. Turn. So next, yeah, next yeah. turn you'll be able to. If one of you assholes. That guard, I think I know him. A look of worry crosses Bryn's face. Only Bryn may interact with that token. Oh. So you can't do anything oh. to that token. There you go. Uh, but there is a bookshelf you can explore on your next turn. Okay, so uh, there's no enemies. It would end phase. Lose a. Uh, but if you want to come this way and explore the bookcase instead of splitting our party up into. He actually needs to go to the other room. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Uh, my turn? Uh, yeah, back to your turn. Alright, I will, uh, one, two, three, move. One, two, three, move. One, two. And I'll do that on your next turn. Okay, then I'll go, two, three, one, and then I'll open that door. Who was in this one? Uh, we need stairs, 3A, the table, and the treasure chest. And the stairs. I saw that table. Get back here. Look at the detail on the table. It's cool. It's got stuff on it. Staircase. Chest, chest, chest. I just, since the chests are hollow at the bottom, I expected the book choice to be too. Because, like, just is like that. Like a house in Monopoly. Oh. Here's 3A. Uh, I can't reach it. Just there. Uh, so, I had... So I went three, I went three, and I opened the door, so that was it. Um, so now it's your turn. I'm going to go explore the bookcase. Yep. So one, two, and then explore. <laughs> and click continue. And click continue again. Okay, books, bottles, and baubles line three shelves, all covered in dust. Search the books, search the bottles, or search the baubles. Books. The following has been added to your inventory to be used later. Marksman's Arrow Recipe. That's new. We didn't get that last well, time. I have been, like, I'm a bow character, so maybe it's... I don't... Yeah, I was, I was the person that searched the bookshelf last time. Uh, you gather items off the shelf, you find a small key. Ten uh, that is one of the four keys. Okay, so you used a move, you used an explore. Do you want to explore it again? And do you want me to say one, the last one for you? Or? Well, I mean, you only have one. Uh, is there one that you specifically need that I, I should... I don't know what uh, to do. Then I will search uh, bottles. We'll leave the, leave the name next. Two oblong capsules are sealed within a silver box. Two heroes may each heal two. I'm at full. I will be at full. <laughs> yeah, me too. Shoot. Nathaniel Finner, wave. 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 Um, um, and that ends the phase. Uh, if you have an exhaustion, of it. I've completely forgot I had one of those exhaustion thingies on this card. Well, we oh. Did you get rid of it? No, like uh, ability. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually those can only be used while you're attacking, though. But it's <laughs> like, put an exhaustion on there to do something. Yeah, extra. I can add two to uh, do one more success. If the enemy is three or more spaces away from you, reduce this ability's cost by one exhaustion. 
Yeah, so you can spin exhaustion and get another. So I can shoot it, and since I'm usually farther away, I can. Yeah. Now you're cooking with gas. Oh, no. Uh, I wish I would have thought about that. Oops. First, I'm going to explore the explorer token. Uh, okay. Does it go away? Uh, let's see. We'll see what it says happens. Uh, from Rebel, you pull out a small water skin and lift the guard's head to drink. The wetness on his lips revives him. He squints slightly at you. It can't be. Lady Bryn, I remember you as a wee child. And Lady Catherine playing together. My, how you've grown. Be careful, Lady Bryn. The attack against was unlike anything I've ever seen in years of surface. A powerful blood witch led them, accompanied by bandits and zealots. I only heard snippets, but she said something about calling a demon from beyond the veil. What she is planning, if she succeeds, it would be our downfall. He pulls himself up to rest against the darkened corner of the cellar. You need to get. You need this to get through the gate, and these to aid you on your journey. He passes you a key and three vials. Discard the explorer token. Patch. Gain the following cards. Three Vigor Potion. Bam. Uh, are these? So be sure you're using the side that's not the... Uh, so one side's got little a double little arrow beside it. That's the upgraded version. We have the not upgraded version. So that is in your usable inventory right now. Uh, consumables provide unique effects, which is here. After consumables use your hero move from their play area, you can learn more about consumables. Well, uh, we must reclaim the watchtower. We must save. These are Burns' virtues. Vir oh, this is where you get to pick a role playing path. So, uh, Bryn, either you can take the path of nobili nobility or valor. This watchtower which protects the barony, or these people who are lifeblood life of, of the, the barony. Valor, for sure. Uh, you find another key to the gate. Um, and then I will explore the bookcase for action number two. I think that's three, isn't it? Didn't you have to walk down? Oh, no, you were already beside him. That's right. I will search bobbles. This is ours, you appraise the last item on the shelf, then turn away. The following has been added to your inventory. Five leather from a uh, pristine hide. And then I will move three back towards the stairs. Um, and that's it for me. So I can move three at a time. So one, two, three. Just put me by the uh, the table. You still have one or whatever you're just saying? No, that's both my moves. It took both my moves there, and then I can explore the table. I thought you said I still had one. Oh, no. So, on the table, I find a letter from the Baroness Ellen, a corresponding map on the wall. Be on the lookout for increased thick activity. There are rumors that a powerful blood witch named Krull is performing strange rituals in the forest of Fortherin. Uh, I fear that she may be attempting. I fear what she may be attempting to do. Any Athuk sightings should be reported to me at once. I've asked our apothecaries to pass along the recipe for our vigor potion. I recommend having a ready supply. Glancing at the map on the wall, it seems covered in marks of attacks, with a circle around a small part of the woods nearby. Seeing them all together, the Athuk forces have grown bold indeed. They are just... uh, the following has been added to our inventory vigor potion recipe. Which is a single use item. Using materials here can sometimes be dropped by defeating enemies. Uh, underneath the stack of papers, I find a small key. Just three of the four keys. Uh, no. Rebellion. Um, it's your turn. Move, move, I guess. Towards this gate here? Yeah, because we'll get it. The, all the keys pretty soon. Three, four, so should I just go up to it and wait? Mm -hmm. <coughs> One, two, there you go. Just staying here, guys. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. 
Okay, in phase. Anybody got anything? Okay, it's back to you. I'll uh, just move towards the gate. <sighs> But you have to be right, right next, next to him. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. I think that won the day, the last game. Uh, okay, move me by the treasure chest. I thought y'all didn't have this character the last game. That no, one, no, that's, he, that's the one. That's the one, he, that's the one we haven't played. Oh. oh. And, the, and the one that's still in the box we haven't played yet. Sorry, I got the I, I thought y'all were playing the one jolt. I'm okay. playing the same one I because oh, okay. I like him. Um, I like that one too. I just wanted to try this one. I don't um, know. Put me by the treasure chest. You think I should switch or shall we? So, for the final battle, you want to have the bow. Okay. I mean, but last time y'all didn't have the tank or whatever, so it probably doesn't matter as much. Mm. I'm just bad at this strategy. You know, understanding simple rules about exhaustion tokens. <laughs> Only Galadin may interact with this chest. Oh. <laughs> Good God. Okay, well, move me six back this way, and I'll wait at the gate like a chump. Why didn't y'all tell me? I Were didn't you know. know. I opened the chest last <coughs> time. Okay. Uh, in phase. Blah. Okay, it's back to you. You're going to... Stay there, I assume. Yep. Uh, move. I would be next, so move me up behind him. As part of it, I'm going to ready my card and flip it. Uh, now you can take your turns. So. Piece of shit, Chess. Get a butthead. You have to make an agility check. Two black Two guys. Yeah, sorry. Two black guys. Wow. Uh, four pluses, four stories. And, uh... Pluses you can convert into successes with, uh... Fatigue, but let's start with four. Well, but it's an I was gonna say, but it's is an agility check. Yeah. yeah, I get plus one. Oh, okay. I think this is one of those accumulative. You were closer to opening it. Should have done the nine. <laughs> nah, screw that. So we go all the way around again. The only thing I'm gonna do on my turn is go up one step. Now it's back to your turn, and you're gonna try again, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we do that. Make an agility check. Uh, two, three stars, one lightning. Which a lightning is four a Four stars. I start four, four successes. And it's going to be five because you have plus one to agility. Uh, you get it open. You get two metal, nine kuros, 11 kuros from some charred trophies, 11 minerals from some broken bottles. Uh, the disruptor gauntlet and 13 gold. I wonder what the last disruptor key? gauntlet's for. Uh, it'll be in the items. No. How do I get it? Uh, so it goes to our inventory, and we can't equip it until... Oh, I didn't... See, I, I, it hadn't popped up yet. I didn't think it had come out, and I was worried that we... I was like, oh, where is it if it's not on this shit? Oh, the key? Oh, yeah, okay. it hadn't come up yet. Yeah. Now we have four and four. Now you pick your uh, role-playing thing. Are you help? So your mind drifts to memories, friends you've lost to such forces as the thug. Uh, the contents chest will certainly help protect your new allies or aid you in your quest for vengeance. Help protect my new allies, of course. And or the weak. disruptor gauntlet is for the the rogue cat. Oh, okay, cool. Thing. He, he's not playable until the second mission. You pick him up in town. It's a cat that's a rogue. Thanks. I, 
was confused about road cat. Okay. And exhaustion. So we figured. We go through. Oh, uh, you, you can bet. <laughs> you have uh, two two movements. You can you. So you can get closer before we start the next round. Ah! I need a life alert. Oh, interesting thing. So, since I kind of know where the map goes, elevation does play, like, for line of sight. So, like, if you're on these stairs and then something's, like, over here, you can't shoot at it. Um, okay, so we do the uh, in phase. Okay, if I'm all the way down, I can't shoot at it. If Do I have to be all the way up? We'll, we'll see. There's a okay. tool in here, and... We, we can check that stuff. Just because okay. visibly it looks like you'd have to be at the bottom. To... So... I guess if I'm Mike will use an action to open again. the door. So team A We have six people watching now. Everybody sound off. Who all's watching? Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Me on four screens. <laughs> uh, Engagement. Okay, used one action to open the door. Oh, yeah. Continue? <laughs> like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the room with the freaking altar. And I don't think we ever explored the altar last time we were. I think we just walked around it like idiots. But I wasn't here. That doesn't sound right. Uh, Berserker. Berserker. It's the one that looks like a ninja. This one? Yeah. Orange one. Oh, we need a second Berserker. And he's a he's green knee. It's a level. Oh, he's a level one. He's just green. Uh, with two pips. Oh, it's a two? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. It's just for the colorblind people. Uh, save the villagers! Oh, yeah, those things there are villagers. Um, okay, so now you have two actions left. Uh, one of which has to be a move. I'm gonna search the table. Oh my gosh. I did, I can move to get closer to the berserker. Uh, inspect that there's a table, sturdy stone, artificially carved, there's a potted succulent, and a jumble of knickknacks scattered across. I it. think I did the succulent last time. I'm gonna toy with the knickknacks. How many words are they gonna use for knickknacks? Brick a brack. Uh, tchotchkes. You pick up the knickknacks, including a few clever mechanical puzzles and some sort of dexterity toy. You scoop them into your pack for later. That sounds dirty. Uh, 20 metal from some moldy bottles. Um, okay, so it's me now. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Uh. Uh. I'll attack the... That's the orange one, yeah. It's gonna die. The bomb's gonna die. Eventually. 
is how all this works. Lightning bolt, so that's two successes and the enemy is now an idiot. Uh, you know what? I can also, since I flipped him, I can do two exhaustion, add a lightning bolt, which is two successes. And the enemy is exposed. Oh yeah. Um, so that was my first attack. Did you get there in one move? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was right there, so it was one, two, three, then an attack. So I'll do another attack. How did I get there? I don't know. You only moved two. Uh, I moved three. I moved three right there. I'm not kidding. I'm just curious. You were here, so you only moved two. Do you want to move three? I moved. You were standing on the step because that's where we were. Yeah. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> Because if I had if known it was there, I would have attacked him twice. That's fine. Hopefully it'll come after you anyway. I'm about to kill this thing. What? She didn't hear I know. I was going to ask her a question. What was the question? Don't worry about it. Your business. She, she didn't chat. <laughs> <laughs> So it's your turn. For you anyway. Okay, so I guess I want to check how like far I got moved. Did she? What's your range? Oh, sorry. Four. So you're not within four anyway. I don't think. I can move one though. So if I move one, will I be able to? Okay, so the way we check that is we go to this little thing here, and we go to line of sight, and you would be on this step, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so it shows yellow is the is the limit of your reach. So yes, from that step you would be able to hit that bad guy. Okay. Shooty shooty. Uh um. Lightning um star. So that's two. Um, and then I'm gonna take. He's more than three away from me, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna take one exhaustion to add another uh, success. Yeah. Oh, that was a weakness too. So you did nine damage. And again, I guess. Oh yeah. Nice. Lightning bolt star, two stars, and um, same thing, add another one. Oops, I just clicked the wrong thing. See, I didn't need to be there anyway. Oh. Yeah, but when I came by back to do one of those things, Better to be closer. Oh I god, I remember that's those were a pain too. Your foe has dropped a valuable item. Moon your spear, that's probably for you. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh okay. So we do the end phase now. 
We killed the bad guys before they even had a, a chance to go. Man, maybe we should have gone up by one. Uh, do you get but, more shiz if you do? Do you, do you get extra, I don't get extra surprises? So everybody gets to lose a, a fatigue. Finally. I've learned. Lunar Spear. Oh, I can't wait to equip that. Dude, that's got two different uh, lightning abilities where you, you pick one. I'm going to move here. And first, I'm going to do the table again. I will inspect the succulent. Heal three or discard two. Uh, I'm in full health and I don't have any. So you just wasted it. Um, and then I'll I'll do the villager in front of me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you will. <laughs> he is chained up. The chains are covered with strange markings written in blood. Test your insight or will. I have a plus one to will. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven. The chains release. He thanks you breathlessly. When they came for us so boldly, kidnapping us in the middle of the day, I thought we were done for. The Blood Witch told the guards to keep a lookout for the red light, he points out in the distance. At that moment, we were to be sacrificed to strengthen her power. Discard this Explorer token. And then, I already got it. And then I'm gonna use my prepared token to flip. I'll let that number, so I got a chance. Um, I'm gonna move one, and I'm gonna do this villager. Dragon style. Might or agility? Do you have might or agility? I have a minus one to might. I have a plus zero in agility. So. So. Four. Well, that could be four if you take two exhaustion. I will. Five. Can your lightning bolt six. add a success in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm at six. But I want to burn a turn getting rid of... <laughs> the chains hold firm! Ha! <laughs> ha! I'll do it again. Hopefully it's cumulative. Four. Six. Well, if you can take the fatigue. Well, I can only take one more fatigue, so it's five. think the answer is one of the zero. The folk have gone missing in recent days. Rumors was the thick, but I don't believe it until, well, now. With the path beyond you clear of foes, you send the villagers towards safety while you turn your attention onward. From the parapet, you see a bright light flash in the dense woods. The thickness of the tall treetops obscures your view below. Whatever evil plot that the thick are working has taken effect. You look to each other. Now is the time to stand and fight. Uh, Bryn chooses. For there is my home, my people, my land are in grave danger. What is giving these evil such strength and brashness must be defeated. It is for the good of the barony or good of the people? The people. You think destroyed my family and they will stop at nothing to see the rest of the world in ruin. They rise up performing blood magic to evil ends once again. I will fight them to protect my new allies or avenge my fallen brethren. Protect my new allies. I see the same evil in the thick as I saw in the dragon lords. 
but on the sacrifice of the innocent, I will not rest until those who would rule by fear are destroyed. We or have until built a new world free of such tyranny. Uh, so any time I want to be. <laughs> Question. Do we metagame for the chest? Good. Yes, it's a board game, not Dungeons and Dragons. So, there's a chest that's going to be in this next room, and if we don't get it fast, uh, someone steals it. There's two ways we can do this. Either we make a dash for the chest, or one of us, volunteering, stays behind and just attacks the guy that's going to take it. Well, but you have to kill him in one turn because he, like, disappears and, and does it. So, yeah, you have to dash for the chest. Well, so I think we do both. One of us dashes for the chest. Uh, one of us attacks the guy. Side token. Or maybe two people attack the guy and one person gets the chest? You're going to be down here. You're, well, you're going to be down here with the big bad. Hmm. And it's reinforcements showing up. We'll just we'll play, we'll play by here. It'll be fun. Um, so what we did last time is we let just in, before jumping down and activating the site token, we decided that we let enough rounds pass that we could get rid of all of our exhaustion. Instead of clicking the button fifty thousand times, just go ahead and get rid of all your exhaustion. And. Do you want to flip any of your cards at this time? Well, he said I should use the bow for the last... Yeah. Well, and also, you get a free flip anyway, so you may as well leave them there, and if you decide that's not what you wanted on, you just get to flip it over. Um, turn my attack at... Da, 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 da. Uh, also, everybody go to full health. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, because I would, I would use enough turns to use my ability to heal everybody. I think we're all... I think, I think being able to expose line of sight for three whatevers is better than being able to shift. So we ran into the issue last time of, like, with the big bad, the expose wears off. So you going last in the turn order, it's going to go away immediately. Yeah, but he'll get the benefit of doing more damage with his hit. Like, so he'll be able to expose and hit, and then it will. But wouldn't that take up a bunch of my, into when I could just hit twice? Well, theoretically, if you're swinging your bell, you're going to expose anyway. Right. That'll last the whole turn. Yeah, you so need you, to expose. You, you may never even need to use it. Then I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, go ahead and get rid of that. Well, I mean, I can probably, like, can I just... No, when, one, one, it, when it flips... Away. Anything that's on it goes away, good or bad. But I'm, what I'm saying is, can I get it back while yeah, we're burning fucking turns? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a thingy or whatever. Well, you oh, have, but a, I'd you have, have to fight something. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, a, that's a thing. Yeah, you I got five takes. takes. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to your turn. Are you going to be the one to jump down, or do you want to stay up here? I'll jump down. Okay. Drop down. I'll come here. Okay, then. You will be the one to reveal. As you approach, the red light glow grows, glows brighter and brighter. Discard this side token. Uh, we need 18B. And I should still have two. I think it's, yeah, it's that way. And I should still have two. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, we need a barricade. We need the evil spell book. We need the. Can we take the tree? Or? Uh, I got another tree. Here's a tree. I'll find a base for it. Bring it up. Yep. Here's the base. Oh, you already got the thingy? Yeah. Uh, there's a treasure chest. There's a barricade. And then there is a evil spell book. Cool. Okay, fun fact. If you are standing next to this barricade, you take more damage. Okay. 
If your enemy is standing next to the barricade, they take more damage. Anything that gets damaged when it's adjacent to the barricade takes one extra damage. Uh, you got the cauldron. Oh, it'll. Oh, the cauldron. We're gonna need a gate too. Not yeah, a gate, but the archway. There's the portal. Uh, cauldron, you say? There's the cauldron. having a good time. Oh, look. We get, we get a cutscene. Blinding light flashes out of the archway, then her cruel contorts in pain. The energy of her ritual has taken its toll on her. She calls for reinforcements. As more enemies flood the watchtower, then her cruel's reinforcements will arrive soon. So, the object of the game is to beat her as fast as possible. Um, however, you're the closest to it, Mike, so I would definitely use your move and then uh, action to try to get the chest. Yeah, I've got two actions left, so one, two, chest. What sucks is if you get damaged while you're standing there, you're going to take extra. Uh, bears a ghostly sigil filling you with supernatural dread. Overcoming this magical ward guards to a test will. Willpower. I have a plus one to will. Nice. Six. Seven. Oh, seven. Seven total. This is ours, the way of salvage. 91 gold. No wonder that bandit last game was eyeballing it so much. Okay, we've successfully metagamed the <laughs> first mission. Um, now it's my turn. I think I'll use the same tactic I used, uh, the first time I played. Run away? <laughs> so, no, I'm gonna just beat that bitch relentlessly. Uh, so one, two, three, one, two, three. It's your turn. So, can I shoot farther if I'm... No. From an elevated position? I wish. So how come it's, it's bullshit that it's harder to shoot from here to here and it's not easier to shoot from... Well, you can't You can't see. You have you have one aside, but your range doesn't get any. Well, but why? Because I can shoot at higher... Also, it described this as we can see this because there are trees game. everywhere. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's a board game. There's no stairs. There's no fall damage. Just, yeah, there's no fall Where's the stairs? There's no stairs. It's a watchtower. You jump from the watchtower. Four. Five. Six. I already got the chest. One. You mean six? I'm gonna get four. Then you moved six. I'm trying to ask these. Or is that 
cauldron. We can check. No, on the site tool. You're right here. Wherever I put uh, This way. Right there. Yes, you can hit from there. Okay. Uh, keep in mind, you are adjacent to that barricade, so if you get hit, you'll take one extra damage. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll move away from the next turn, but this is all I got. Uh, okay, so you're gonna go ahead and take a shot? Unless I can sh- I'm, I'd still be adjacent to it. <laughs> one. But wait, I can- But wait, there's more! So you got one success. And then I can do this. And uh, add one more. Yeah. Okay. Don't you also add something? No. That, that was another thing. Uh, you don't. Well, I can suffer one exhaustion to prepare a card, but I don't. Okay. Uh, you did three damage. Shit. <laughs> Energy sturdy. Okay. First darkness phase and shit. She is weakness <laughs> wicked bad. Um, remove your exhaustion. Anybody got exhaustion? Okay. She's about to start using fireballs. Uh, t the target is Bryn. The Red Mist, Blood Witch, Rising Her. After the defense, each hero within three spaces, the Blood Witch, uh, scars each card with one or more uh, exhaustion on it. They discard one exhaustion from each card. So she, if she can move one to get within four of you, she she's, has to. She's already within four of me. Oh, okay. Then she attacks you for four. Scars? So it's another condition. But so what it's saying is if you have a card, if you're in the range after the attack and you have a card that's got exhaustion on it, it's going to get a scar token on it. And scars, we can look it up because I don't remember what it's it is. It's on your card. Oh, is it? When a scarred card flips, suffer two damage. Oh, so it, it kind of keeps you from flipping back and forth to uh, manage your exhaustion. Mm -hmm. So it's bad. Each hero on tile 18B terrifies one card. Uh, I forgot about this. Yeah, we're all on 18B, so... The uh, yellow and the orange one? Yeah. So you got to pick a card and you get a terrified token on it. You get to pick what card... I'll put it on me. I'll put it on me too. I got chance for this bitch. The tongue passes suffer one oh, much terrifying card. Yeah. Oh, actually, I'm gonna terrify my uh my mace instead. What's that anime where the people are weapons? Is that Soul Eater? I think so. My, our weapons are clearly sentient. Okay, uh, Zealot and I'll uh, pull some Fey out. It is so later. I like that anime. I think it's a, a Fey now because we've got the chest already. Maybe. Here's the Fey. The Fey is born. Or maybe it wouldn't have gotten Jack this time. Maybe it, it's, it does have some well, difference. Well, I already got it, so. Yeah, I wouldn't want to risk it. Why, why would you bump the stairs? God. Because they couldn't figure out the fatigue dynamic. <laughs> uh, the Zealot screams an alien incarnation, a foreign but single name, Galadin. Yeah, yeah, that has. Uh, your turn. All right, first things first. Let me use this ability. To shift three. One, two, three. We should keep attacking her, right? Like, I shouldn't. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I will attack her. That's gonna, this is gonna flip, mm -hmm. so. 
to... Um, I will... The blade or... Uh, the hammer. Success of three. This flips. I also get to move her away from me one. Put mm -hmm. her right in your kitchen. Okay. I'm going to. been in a kitchen with another person? When is it called that? Who called it that? Everyone calls it that. No, they don't. Yeah, it's All an right. attack of kitchen defense. So I'm attacking twice. It's going to be two successes. Still the hammer, right? Yeah. Two successes. Anything else? I can remove You know, we never tried exploring that cauldron. I tried doing the book last time, it was like, you've got more important things to do. <laughs> that is true. I got a success and a plus sign. this out, which uh, adds a uh, lightning bolt, and I'm going to use that lightning bolt to add two stars and expose the enemy. Uh, move me 
back one towards the tree diagonal. That's the maximum I can move anyway, and hopefully that gets me out of line of sight of that freaking fireball crap that is going to end up happening at some point. Uh, it's your turn. Shoot the bitch. Two, three, four, yeah, that's a thing you can do. Exposed from when I hit her, so you're gonna do extra stuff. And again. Plus stop. Okay, so you get one success. The plus you can convert into a success if you take an exhaustion or something. Or fatigue, whatever. So when your turn's over, the terror will take effect, but you're going to remove a fatigue. And you're going to add a success with that. That's, that's what I was worried about. What's that your potion? Ah, okay, yeah, go ahead. It should have been three. Three successes? Yeah. Sorry. Shit. Oh, okay. It's that damage do you do on a hit? It was two. two. Uh, yeah, and, she, she was and she's exposed, so there, uh, it'd be three and three. Suggest moving away from the yeah backing up one just in case the you can target. about to come. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. yeah, but you don't want to be up by that barricade. But couldn't I go forward one? You could, but you're I, just I, closing range with her. I will say I think with their movement, I think you've got time if you move back. Okay. I don't know how you could also just move forward. That yeah, you also just move there. Yeah. You move well, that's what I was saying. Could I move forward one? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I would do that. That is Shit, more. that doesn't. Ah, man. It'd be cool if that didn't put me close to the earth and three squares to her. Oh. Oh, you're not. Yeah, I am. You're, you're one, two, three. Oh, yeah, you are. You're within three. Oh, then would you rather move back so that. Because you do have fatigue on stuff. I still have to be able to hit her. I still have to move up one to hit her. She's going to go next, and she's going to have that thing that says if you're within three of her and you have fatigue on a card. You're gonna get effed in the. So in you the might effort. want to move back because yeah. during your turn you can always move up and hit her since you have to move anyway. And then move back again. So I would go. Well, she might only have one more round. Yeah. I'd, I'd go there just so she doesn't like hit you. Darkness phase. Uh, discard a fatigue. Uh, deal with infection and terror. So, what do we do for terror? Terror, when time passes, suffer one fatigue on that card. I don't have terror anymore. Okay. Ah, uh, that's mean. She makes you suffer fatigue on a card and then does stuff to things with fatigue. Uh, Zealot completes the incantation as a dark shadow descends on Galadin. Galadin tests will. Uh, Difficulty should... 7. Add one blue die for each adjacent hero. Oh. <laughs> I should have moved next to him. Nah, he, I'd still stand by it. But, um, yeah. Add a, uh, do a willpower test. One, two, three, four stars. Yeah. Uh, sure. Do you have, oh, you don't have a bonus to will. Yeah, so you fail. Shadow passes on a glider, ripping the flesh and mind. Gladden terrifies their hero card and suffers 
one fatigue on each of their skill cards. We don't have any skill cards. Yeah, we don't have any skill cards out, so you are terrified. That kind of makes me wonder if we're supposed to be using I was already terrified. I think that's that, uh... I was already terrified. Then you're fine. You're already terrified. No, we don't start with skill cards. I think that's just its ability. Okay. Anyway, because like they're persistent. Just like why in the opening one would it? Yeah. Can you come back later and replay again? I mean, I guess that's up to people. Uh, red mist around the blood witch. Uh, after defense, each hero within three feet. Okay. Anyway, so she, she can move one to go after Range the lad. One, two, three. Yep. Okay. Uh, you need to defend against four. So you take one unless there's something you can do to... Or you can take one damage. Um, uh, well, I didn't know it was going to be that. Hold on. So, Scar, each hero within three spaces of the Blood Witch scars each card that has one or more fatigue on it. I'm within three spaces. I need to I need to scar my uh Oh I'm not within three, okay. That scar. So do I have to use this on my turn? Yeah. You have to use an action to use it. Um and then are you within three? One, two, three. Oh no, you're not within three. So we saved your bacon. Uh I don't have any fatigue. So yeah, so you're good. I remember well, last time I was like uh Switching it every delay. Target Varix. Uh, while moving, his enemy ignores elevation, terrain, and underlay. Cannot be impeded after the. Okay. So. They can move four. One, two, three, four. And. I, I don't think you're within three. And neither is he. Because it would go after the next nearest. Something out of the arch when the sky exploding can meet each hero sizzling acid. Each hero infects one card. Wow, none of this happened last time. Whenever time passes, suffer one damage for each infected card. Jeez. Why did this not happen last time? Does it adjust for people? I think so. Probably. On the following enemy, so I need to get out a zealot, or do we already have a zealot? But it's in play. Okay, so I need a new zealot. The zealot still, I don't, we didn't move the zealot during the... He hasn't place. told me to yet. Uh, well, because that's where that one's popping up. <coughs> so... Yeah, the zealot didn't move. So um, the rules say like if a uh, if a uh, enemy would spawn on an enemy, it just spawns in the spot next to. So we just need another zealot, and it'll go next to the other zealot. Cruel's reinforcements will continue to spawn until she's defeated. Uh, open scars on both of the palms begins a dark chant as a stream of blood flows from one to the other. So she's doing some nuts stuff. Alright. Get behind her. Attack. Yep, with the hammer. 
success each hero within three spaces of the enemy. So that's two. I'm gonna add one. One goes away because you're a star. But my adding the one is also gonna push her adjacent to the barricade. So she takes more damage. So the attack happen does the it say after the attack? That's after the attack, but when y'all hit gotcha. she will take more so damage. So how many successes? Move an attack, you get another action. See if I can do anything with the cauldron. Like, I don't have range to attack again. Yeah. So, if it doesn't let me do anything with the cauldron, <coughs> I do have something I can do. Visibility potion. I'm sure this is just the one that goes in our inventory, right? No, uh, usually when you pick up an item and it just goes in your inventory, <coughs> it doesn't tell you to draw a card, so that means this is immediately available. Make sure it's the non upgraded one. Yeah. During your turn, shift two. Until the end of the round, you cannot be the target of enemy activations. That's kind of cool. Uh, that was my third. Yeah, so. so she's standing right next to me. I can do an extra damage. Um, okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use one action to flip to this side going to attack. <coughs> Ooh, a lightning bolt and a star. Uh, so I'm going to use the star and then my lightning bolt gives me two more. Closes the enemy. Uh, and then I'm going to take two fatigue to add another lightning bolt, which adds two more successes. It should be 15 plus damage. This should kill her. Yeah. It's the exact amount needed. Did you add the damage from the barricade too? Oh no, I didn't even add the. Yeah, I would have done. She's extra dead. I would have got one more success. If only we were all. Yeah, exploded the bitch. Shout of alarm become cries of happiness throughout the forest as members of the caravan find their missing friends and family. Hello, Terrence. Everyone alive? Unhurt? We live. What was that? They know there's still three guys right here, right? No, oh, they, they disappeared. Who took magic? Eh. Looked like a weak sort of portal she was taking. Talking to a demon, but it could have come through the yen front of it. He wasn't even there. <laughs> it's your line. It was weak. Does that mean she was a weak sorcerer? <coughs> she defeated. No, things are only going to get worse from here. That woman was a blood sister, the highest drink of Uthuk Witch. She will try again. Bigger. This was only her opening move. It was a weak portal, but I think she did exactly what she set out to do. If she wants to open a full portal, let that demon into the real world, I think we have to assume she can. She can. You're not just going to let it happen, though, are you? Yes. No. We're going to we're run. not. We're running away. What was place. <laughs> You. Come back to Frostgate with me. My mother's house, my house, has plenty of room. We'll figure out our next steps. Wonderful. I'm sure we'll all become fast friends. Let's see. 
You're such a douche. That feels right. It feels right. <laughs> I was saying, Galadin is very much me like hey, This time it only took us two hours. It's like they in the five and a half hours. Like Man, hour. look at all the stuff we found. Well, that was like literally the first time y'all played, and y'all already knew this stuff. Well, we, we also, also sat too. around talking, reading the rules the, for while the the hundred thirty page fucking rule book, and we started it before we put everything together. So now let's all go play Beat Saber. Yeah. So the mission's over, and what it does is it sends us to <coughs> town, which is in between games. So can I just? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put it up. But I was gonna show you what happens, like so. Did what you it does just pick my thing for me? Yeah, I'm sorry. You jerk. It was it was the nobility one. Your phone. That's what I hate. Oh, okay. Second. And you don't even go back, so I can actually. I can. You. It didn't. Do you could have if you hadn't hit continue. Uh, the first time oh, you okay. ever hit continue so, in this game. The story <laughs> continues on. Uh, we go to the house. We find out. She... Hey, I haven't seen any of this. Okay, fine. Fuck everybody else that wants to know what's going on. You were the one like, oh, so we can pack this in? Now? No, I didn't mean pack it in. I mean, can I take this shit off my cards? Oh, yeah. We're done. I meant when we go to town, do we heal up? Yeah. I feel like I'm just saying things to him, and he's hearing a completely different thing. Have I lost <laughs> my mind? Are you done? No, I'm serious. <laughs> I didn't done? hear what you said. Like, I didn't hear what you said. I so. said so we can take this stuff off, right? I'm sorry, I did not mean to, to be like, what this game, wow, it's over. Whoosh. <laughs> read, read the thing. <laughs> Bryn Bryn leads her fellows through the streets of Frostgate. Stone roundhouses mark important clan holdings, while timber longhouses, taverns, and workshops line the streets. Bryn's house is large, its wings unfolding around a scraggly little garden. The bare timber of the frame over the door is carved with fenceful clan folk designs. You live here? It's nice. It belonged to my mother. She was an adventurer. She had some money. She was well respected by the clan! Ten <laughs> he just to the up. Yeah. He's got a fox! He's got a little I fox. wanna be him! We can. We're trying. A blonde man with clan folk kilt and worn smile stands in the doorway. Welcome home, child. Uncle Rodin. Ronan, these are my companions. Everyone, this is Ronan, a clan mediator and kid to my mother, named Ronan. <coughs> mm, greetings to you, Ronan of the Wild. I have heard of you. Ronan of the Wild, eh? I haven't gone by that name in years. Come inside, everyone. <laughs> the group enters the house and divests themselves of their traveling gear. Soon, all are gathered in the house. This long common room. I'll try to do it before I get to it. Uncle Ronan, we found a watchtower that had been overrun by the Uthuk. We need to send a message to Baroness Adeline. No need for that. I was okay. gonna do it. Oh, no, no need for that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about <laughs> God. <laughs> She's got a smoke. <laughs> Iron lung. <laughs> Aunt Adeline, why are you in Highmont? <laughs> ah, this is some sort of family reunion. Aunt Adeline, Bryn, I had no idea you were nobility. Introductions are written all around. <laughs> the Baroness is polite and preserved. Charmed to meet all of you. <laughs> this is for why I'm not in Highmont. Things are not going well, Bryn. <laughs> <laughs> the threaten us all across the barony. Bandits and criminals are worse than ever. I've even got word that the undead are stirring in the mislanes. <laughs> Refugees have been pouring into Frostgate. We're the only city in the North large enough to accept them. The bird has been negotiating with the clan elders to make sure four of them people aren't turned away with the goods. <laughs> Bobcat gold. <laughs> <coughs> Should the Baroness be taking the battle of the Lithic and protecting her people? <coughs> what a good question. Shouldn't she? <laughs> she should. <laughs> she will be kidding now. <laughs> Brent, I'd like to ask you and your friends for help. 
Uber knocker friend. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Help with what? <laughs> Apparently, you've already seen that the ears are getting larger, my parody. You're doing it wrong. Okay, do it. My soldiers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. My soldiers cannot even defend <laughs> the watchtower. But over on town is going. You're just like, <laughs> it's just devolving. And when new threats or new opportunities appear, I have no assets to spare. In short, I need adventurers. You six are just what I'm looking for. Three six. <laughs> <laughs> These are Kelly and Deep Fire and Ch Kelly Deep Fire and Chance. The dwarf has a certain swagger to her as she enters the room, smiling and nodding. The Henry Catfolk lurks in the shadow, ears flat against his head, and tail slashing. Mom will help me with my little problem. Mr. Steve Fire is a skilled artisan. Some of her guildmates have been forced to take shelter not far away, evading Uthuk war parties. I need a few brave souls to come help me lead them to safety. I'm sure the forge of this guild would reward our bravery. And I believe I mentioned the <laughs> <laughs> meant for the refugees. That character will forever sound like that. Anytime I play this game, <laughs> just... Uh, uh, uh. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Who taught this cat English? Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy to help them, my lady. But how? With what soldiers? What resources? I can't just fix your mess with good intentions. Mm, you six. You're a quicker thinker, aren't you? Baroness Hatton. It's on. Your company now includes trained warriors. At least one skilled wizard. And one dragon eye. Who, unless I miss my guess, has more experience and wisdom than everyone else in the room put together. Fucking teacher's bad piece of shit. <laughs> I will agree to this. As long as we understand that fighting the Othok is our most important objective, you fucking teacher's pet piece of shit. You just have regretted that proclamation. There are other enemies as evil as you thought and more powerful. Suck it, lizard. Fine, but I have a condition. They have a cream for that. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <coughs> we operate out of this house, not a high mod. We uh, allow Kelly and Chance to join us if then none of them answer to you. We're a company of equals, not soldiers in your army. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'll leave you to it. The Baroness and Ronan depart, leaving the four companions alone. Even the Dwarf and the <laughs> Hendricks have excused themselves. But Morgan Freeman. Mm. No, the narrator, not him. This is very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> That's Cleveland from the Cleveland show. Oh, yeah, okay. This is very exciting. Oh, you're not saying do it. <coughs> you already did. What are you talking about? That wasn't high pitch enough to do it. said, party over here. This is very exciting. What should we do first? <laughs> Two quests are now available. Each quest unlocks a new hero for your party. Read the quest briefings for more details. Um, so, <coughs> so now we're in between quests, and we can actually just save the game and quit. But what we can do... <coughs> oh, and we all got XP. So now we get the skill cards. Yeah, we all upgraded our skills. So we can do crafting in between missions. Okay, well, I want right to do away. some of that, maybe. Can we, like, look at some of the stuff? Yeah. Uh, so you can craft in between missions. You can buy and sell gear in between missions. And you can equip things. Well, should we do the thing where we focus on one person, or should we... Um... Well, so we, have, we only have stuff for certain people, anyway. So I meant like uh, for the stuff we can craft and 
Well, that's what I mean. Like, we, we have certain recipes for certain things for certain oh, characters. Okay. So, so let's take a look at what we got. Um, consumables. It so, looks like there's something for me, something this? for you. Markman's arrow. That, we already have all the stuff to craft the Marksman's arrow for the bow. Uh, but And what it does is it adds an ability to your card where every time you hit them, they have a 50% chance to be exposed, which okay. is pretty cool. Um, which one's for me? Uh, we've got the Guardman's Grip, uh, which we need some Taros, and we'll be able to craft that. That's for that girl, isn't it? That, yeah, that's, that's for the dwarf. Uh, it adds a 20% chance to add prepare. Focus and prepare, which focus lets you uh, reroll. Cool. And then the Talon Pommel, that one is for you, that's for your Warhammer. And it be, becomes weak to slash 25% chance. But I need an Anemos. So. Which may or may not be at the shop. So what's the next level? Uh, oh wait, so like you do all this and then you start the next one? Yeah. You can, yeah. But that's like another four hours. It only took us two and a half. Yeah, we're not, we haven't played the next one yet, so... We like, could do another one tomorrow. I think he's got stuff to do tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow morning. Um, I'll be here like tomorrow afternoon and night. So this is our... And they, the, so the top left is the one that... Yeah, we need we need one of those, right? Yeah. Okay, so that costs 25 of the group's gold. We'll go ahead and purchase that. What was the other thing we needed? I... This is all good. Yeah, mine's fine. Oh, okay, there was a, there was a the... thing for Khalees. Uh, something a rose. It's <laughs> like half of this. Terrace. Terrace is a mineral. Something a rose. So we'll go oh, ahead and buy a terrace, so that we have the stuff to upgrade. Because she's required for one of the next yeah. missions anyway, so we may as well upgrade her. Uh, spiked grip. That's for the cat. That's, that's, who cool. is weak to any of your attacks, damage types, and exposed with a for 120. Chance. There's a fortified half for your character. Freaking pulls right my way. You're you another. are another hero who has already taken their turn this round. May focus one card. Thirty percent chance. Oh, and uh, we have all the uh, stuff for that. That's 120 gold. We only have 57 right now. We could sell stuff. We have to sell stuff. But those are always the baity things. Yeah. They're like, hey, spend all your money on this. And we could just, you know, grind. What? Oh. I'm going to go over to the craft one. Yeah. I, I was just going to say, like, the first person you usually want to, like, completely arm is the tank, isn't it? Well, I'm getting one thing off of... You just said something about out. grinding, but... Oh, I just meant find the gear and equip with the best stuff that you find as opposed to buying the expensive item out of the shop. Because oh. it's it's usually a money sale. So for shit, not money. Like. Yeah. Oh, you gotta go to the... Remember, you gotta go to the other... Oh, yeah, I know, but I, I thought there was a thing for the... Uh, the potion, remember? It's the very, it's the very top. Oh, oh, oh. So. Oh, we need Vegas for that. That's okay. That's what I was trying to check. So let's buy some. Is there any? Yeah. Well, and remember too that recipe is a one-time use thing too. And I mean, technically, we all still have. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's... Okay, so let's craft, uh, Eli's, let's craft your thing. Well, I really like it. Craft. Are there expansions? Uh, not yet. They're coming out. This is part, this is Act 1. And there's like 15 or 20 missions or something like that. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and equip it. And then we'll go ahead and make your arrow. Oh, this doesn't cost, this just costs the stuff, so that's good. And then we'll equip your marksman arrow. 
That's kind of the any of any of his attacks can expose. Yeah, and it, it'll like when he attacks, it will just automatic. So we might as well go ahead and craft his thing. Equip his part. Well, so don't forget too. We've got your new weapon, oh, and then yeah. we also got the new weapon for the cat. That's true. I can choose to replace one of my weapons with this. I, I mean, I would. <laughs> I'd replace your spear. That's pretty. I'll have, to, I'll have to read up. Do you remember which gauntlet it was that we got from the cat? I want to say it was the disruptor gauntlet. Uh, we can go to the inventory. It's a. Uh, Is it here? Yeah. yeah. Inventory. Yeah, scroll all the way down. Yeah, because it's the third one down in the middle. Next one over. Yeah, for two fatigue during an adjacent enemy's attack, add one star to the defense. If you have a shadow card, reduce the cost by... And I remember we were trying to figure out how to like equip it, but I think we just decide, hey, I've got this equipped. Yeah. Oh yeah, because it says in the book like how many of you can equip X amount of items, blah 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 blah. So what is this? That's your regular spear. Oh. That's my lunar spear. Oh, that's what it does. During my attack, I can add two stars. Or, during my attack, add one star and a hero within three spaces and can prepare or focus a card. I want the, the upgrade it is, uh, the second one is add two stars instead of one. Someone on Cleaver, to try to Cleaver you know, the Cleaver Knight's talking after Dark Phage is trying to start the revolution. Hell they, yeah, brother. They're like, uh, they're like, you know, if we all decide who we want to vote in, we can do this thing. They're like, voter turnout in Cleburne's like five people and they're all 90. He was like, if we all decide, we can go out and do this thing. I was like, you have people been trying to do this for years. I know you think this is a new idea, but it doesn't work. We go out to Cleburne. And okay, so these all nights. we gotta do is we save our That's game. That's in office now. <laughs> and then the next time we go to, uh... It's the guy that made us pay for our second trash can. <laughs> Sixty dollars, and then ten a month. I'd have just stolen somebody else's. Okay, guys. So you know that was descent. Hope y'all like the game. Uh, it's really fun and sturdy. We're gonna save and exit, and then I'm going to. All right. So everybody have fun. You yeah. like it? You said yeah. it's really sturdy. I like it better with three players too. Yeah. It's uh. Will you tilt that back a little bit so I can... It's just because you hate me. That's true. Alright, bye everybody.